and we're live. Boom, 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 boom. Yes! That's right, it's Friday. Wait, it's not Friday. Damn it, Pedro. We can't it's hang Australian out in Friday, oh, which is Sunday. Sunday. It's already Sunday here, right? <laughs> right, it's Australian Friday. Australian Friday, man. That's 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 the new hotness. What is it's not beautiful, people? We're getting ready for another Linux Gamecast Weekly. We just wrapped up the pre pre super shows and Oh Still trapped at home, but hey. That's the thing. What's going on? Um I'm Vin. That's Jordan. That's Pedro. That's Shadow. <laughs> uh i like the the gif there uh mike g <laughs> yeah you know you like that you like that like as soon as you look at it but then you start thinking about the amount of work that went into that because that's that's like a little too good <laughs> isn't it precisely <laughs> someone went through the trouble of doing all of that <laughs> Some, someone went to one of the websites that just lets you apply text over a gif <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's like 30 seconds more effort than I'm willing to put into it, but still. Fair. <laughs> and, yeah. I like the beady dead eyes of that dog mask, though. Mm hmm. <laughs> um... <laughs> I gotta quit playing with stuff. Uh, with <laughs> studio, multi view. I got a lot of stuff. Um, kind of glued together this evening. So. Mm. Oh, that's what I hit. Okay. All right. Never mind. I'm enforcing like stream settings and stuff. It's very technical, mind you. So technical. <laughs> the... It's technical. Yeah, this week I basically, um, well, I already mentioned this on the stream yesterday, but I uh, was getting um, Steam Compositor Plus running on the Steam box because it finally works properly uh, with 2004. And um, yeah, no, that I. Having, you know, put the uh, Steam box uh, together before with just the APU, just the 2400G, and running the games off of, like, the integrated graphics, it's like, oh yeah, that, that could play a lot of things. Uh, 1080p, 60, maybe at medium settings-ish, but it played a lot of things. And a um, big, big thank you to Arthur in for the 1650. Um, it's like, oh! Yeah, no, 1080p 100, uh, 1080p 144, it's like, huh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Speaking of compositors, man, um, in my long, long, you know, the, rever the troubleshooting of trying to figure out what was mm. wrong with this deck link situation, I started using uh, PyCom, the... The Compton fork, yeah. Yeah, uh, just... <laughs> I might have been at the, uh, let's just start throwing things at the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that that low part of the curve of troubleshooting was like, why not? Maybe this is doing it. <laughs> might as well. <laughs> yeah. It's working fine, but it does roll back to, I wasn't using a compositor at all, but eh, I mean, it works. It uses sli slightly more because I did have that. I always do like, let's load up compositor, open a terminal and spin it around and, you know, with the top open. Yeah. Nothing beats Compton, man. Compton's like barely blips everything else. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Uh, oh, again, you know, it's like, what, what are you hitting? Like two, 2.6 percent of a thread out of 24. Like, oh no. This is crippling. Yeah, <laughs> and most of that is going to be the mouse pulling. If you mm -hmm. have the mouse set to uh, a thousand hertz, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. Hello. <laughs> I have nothing to contribute to this conversation. Why not? <laughs> don't sell yourself short, man. I got more faith in you. Because I don't really fuck around with compositor settings. So I've set up a default Compton forever ago, and I'm like, this is fine. 
Ever since... Oh, yeah, I, I keep my uh, Compton Conf as well as the uh, Exor Conf and a couple of other files backed up to my uh, Google Drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I just took a default Compton Control F Sha. <laughs> then yeah. just disable all of that nonsense. No. Then Shadows, probably a no. tra to make sure no transparencies or anything. Like, you know, I don't get anything out of a compositor. I cut off I all that. I changed the back end to GLX so that it uses a GPU because mm -hmm. chances are GPU. Yeah. <laughs> we go through that glamour server. Yeah. I mean, like, what, what, whatever. I'm. I'm not that fiddly when it comes to optimizing my desktop. If it does the job the first time around and it's not causing too much issue, I kind of just leave it alone. Yeah, no, I like the fiddling, which is part of why I'm using Kitty. <laughs> I don't like the fiddling. I like the everything working. If the desktop environment breaks, I keep uh, OpenBox installed which I have now set up a really nice custom session using Compton as well. Uh, it's uh, open box. Uh, the panel at the bottom is just tin two, very basic, uh, and Compton. It's as far as performance goes, I get on average like five FERPs more in uh, the Talos principle benchmark in that uh, open box session that I do in KDE. <laughs> do you think it's even the fastest compositor I've ever seen with games. Off? Mm. It comes at a heavy penalty. Oh, Enlightenment. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used Enlightenment on the calculator for a long while because it was uh, the best for games. <laughs> if you want to see a legitimate 8 or 9% increase Enlightenment, yeah. that'll do it. But you gotta use Enlightenment. <laughs> I, so in, in, in college, all the Linux machine, or in university, all the Linux machines had, um, they basically had like all the desktops installed so you could like fuck around with GNOME KDE. So I got that out of my system pretty early. I'm like, okay, GNOME, GNOME, GNOME 2 was pretty good when GNOME mm -hmm. 3 came out. I tried to get on board, but eh. So I went to XFCE, which is the closest thing to GNOME, and that's kind of where I stuck. Would well, you find something that works? Look back to differ, but okay. What? <laughs> Like a similarity to GNOME 2, mate would back to differ. Oh. <laughs> well, this this was pre mate. Well, come on, man. I mean, it's mate. Mate's GNOME 2 with a serial number filed off a little bit and some <laughs> With GTK 3 yeah. support, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, I got nothing against mate or mate. It's just like I moved up all my shit over to XFCE and like I couldn't be asked to move it back to mate. I don't. Well, it, it comes down to like a functional thing. I know I, I was talking about that because uh, Ubuntu Studio had switched yeah. over from XFC to. Yeah, KDE. you got you got, you got you got tweeted at about that. That was oh yeah, I read we that. We don't think the issue is as big as you're making your audience seem like it is. Like, I'm not the one that put the warning in the announcement, <laughs> am I? I was just reading what you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, as someone who has been stubbornly using KDE for many, many years now, oh yes it is. <laughs> Completely anecdotal, because, you know, I don't have any hard numbers to put in your face, but I see that stupid little uh, something crashed icon in my uh, tray far more than I'd like to. Mm. My whole thing just rolled down to, it's not about performance or anything, it's all about stability. You can say what you will about um, XFCE at 4.12, but you can't say it's not stable, man. Yeah, no, you want something that doesn't crash, use XFCE. Use Mate. There, done. Just, 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 don't, just don't unplug and replug monitors and... 100% fair point. <laughs> yeah, if, if 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 you're on a laptop, you're plugging stuff in, you're plugging stuff out. Maybe consider gnome. Gnome gnome's pretty decent about that. The um <sighs> on the live USB. I don't. I, I've man. If I need to get something to boot and I don't want to monkey with it, I have a key with eighteen oh four on it. And it's like I if that doesn't boot it, it's, it's got problems. 
Oh god, I I, I I do have to say though, like the Linux blue screen that Gnome introduced was like something crashed. Like fuck you, come on, mm -hmm. tell me what's wrong, please. Oh no, baby. Yeah, no, it's Gnome. They are trying to create that Windows-like experience of uh, because fuck you, that's why. I mean, <laughs> come I mean, on, they... man, that new version of Gnome that's got something crashed, which is okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, God. I mean, to be, to be fair, it is it is slightly better than Windows. Like, we've got rid of the blue screen. Now we have a frowny face. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> Shut up. No, but like to, to, to that to that point though, I do I do think that like Linux would 100 definitely benefit from like a very public, like flashy, pretty looking desktop because wobbly Windows got a lot of people on board back in the day, right? Like that's what Gnome's this, trying to do, man. There, there, there's something to be said for appealing to people's aesthetics. It gets, it works for Mac. Mm hmm. Hundred percent. It works for Mac, I think. Also, but that, that's like part of the whole package. I, I think I was talking might have been Wednesday or, or earlier. Like the whole idea of a software center, you know, because it's like every every distribution we have a software center. And like software center for an operating system has worked. A grand total of once on a Mac because it's locked in. Yep. That's you want to know what it takes to make a successful software center? Lock in. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I I would argue shit like apt and yum are the same thing, right? They are. That's not what my point. My point is like every distribution is trying to come up with their own application center. And like, hey, you could even sell stuff here. Like that's never. Yeah, you have yeah. the GNOME software center. You have the um, whatever yeah, XFC staff. is using. Yeah. XFC, XFC, XFC doesn't have one of those. Apt or yum. Um, Do yeah. they just use the GNOME software center because no, I have no, no. Uh, X Ubuntu no. installed on that's one not, of the... Well, that, that, that's that, not that, that's, 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 a new, that's a new Ubuntu <laughs> thing. They're like, yeah, well, of course we're going to put the Ubuntu software center on XFCE. Surprise. But it's not the Ubuntu software center. It's It looks very similar to the GNOME software center. They might have just loaded that up. All right, all right. All right. I'll, you know, I'm going to take your word on that. I have not used Zubuntu in literally over a decade. Uh, yeah. Unless but the like, Ubuntu team has like made one, but that's not part of. Uh, I guarantee you, that's not a package or a dep in XFC. There's no yeah. software center. Yeah. Um. <laughs> the, oh, like uh, so. So Snap has one of them. Flatpak has a million of them because people keep making um, them. Flatpak has a uh, flat hub on the webs, and then there's plugins for. No, no, no. Flat Flat, flat Hub also has Ethereum. <laughs> Oh, Ethereum. Uh, that's just for games. No, but like it's the same shit, right? Like there's <laughs> there there are there are many competing projects within the Flatpak ecosystem that are trying to do that software center thing. They may be targeted at different markets, but it's it's in effect click button install Flatpak. I'm just going to stick with the software center it only works if you don't have option B. I mean, uh, what do you call Synaptic. it? Uh, the, <laughs> S Synaptic was pretty slick. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 Everyone I remember... seems to say the same thing. It's mm -hmm. like they got it right with Synaptic. And then they kept, you know, removing features and making it look prettier. No. Yeah, <laughs> Synaptic was great. You could like, oh yeah, here's the list of all the packages. You could take that and drop that on another Ubuntu box and be like, yo, Synaptic, I want these packages to be like, all right. That's handy. Yep. <laughs> but Synaptic was very much like it's programmer UI. It makes sense to someone who knows what they're looking for. Synaptic works fine, maybe. Yeah, if you're looking for something, it's like, oh, look, there's a search button. Yep. That's and it gives you everything. It's like 99.99% nine, <laughs> nine, nine when I crack open Synaptic. It's like, you know what? I don't want to open a browser because this is all I'm doing. I'm effectively using your search <laughs> yeah. function to type in the name of this package followed by dev. Because I don't know if it's lib whatever one bullshit yeah. that you've named it. But yeah, it's not package dev or devil. There you go. Let the, let's just standard uh, standard uh, uh, yeah on let's just uh, dash devil. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Done. <laughs> it's it's worse it's worse on Suze where they use Red Hat packages with the Ubuntu naming scheme. And oh fuck! Just like, that. Mm -hmm. Fuck! Why? <laughs> why you do this? Oh, that's just wrong. I, I never oh, no, asked. It, 
uh, in Solus, you had packages that were clearly built from like the source uh, of the RPM and the ones that were built from the devs. So you had like a mix and match of uh, oh, package God. naming schemes. It's like, uh, okay, I'm just using the GUI to look for the packages then. Screw it. <laughs> That's unfortunately the best way to do it. I mean, you, you have your basic strat. You have, okay, well, I know what the name of it is. Okay, dash dev. Nope, dash delve. Nope. Okay, lib. Package name dash dev. No. Yeah. That's usually when it's an applicant. Like, okay, what is this? Oh, there it is. All right. Or lib ass imp. Did you see the post on R Linux with the snaps? I yeah. saw it, but yeah, I I, I saw I saw the link, but I didn't look at it. I want to pull that up for the people at home. You got to see this. Um, for the people's. It, welcome to our brave new world. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, no 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 show this week. We're just we're just gonna be bitching about package names. <laughs> Install Snap Aware Snap Store Snap. The Snap Store is required. <laughs> <laughs> open snaps from a web browser. I, I'm surprised that the options aren't snap and oh snap. <laughs> okay, can 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 we can we petition can we petition gnome to like change the okay dialog text to oh snap? Oh man, no, we need to change the install to exhibit. <laughs> Oh, uh, snap exhibit. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like snaps, so I'm running snaps inside your snaps, inside your snaps, inside your Docker container, inside your Linux subsystem for Windows, yeah. inside your Mac. We can go deeper. Think about it, man. Five years from now, it'll be um, snap install app. Oh god! Str Strider posted something on Mastodon where it's like, "I'm having problems. I'm using the snap version of LXC." I'm like, "Dear God, why?" <laughs> yeah, I posted that on Twitter too, and it's like, "Ooh, wait a second, something is not working for Strider." Mm -hmm. Ooh. No, no, no. <laughs> I gotta no, save no, this I, moment. I, I just like the fact that he's using the containerized version of a container software. I, that just. That's how that it just, ships, though. That, that's the preferred. That's the install method from Ubuntu. <laughs> Fucking Ubuntu. God I, damn it. I, you know what? I, I'm going to talk some smack about flat packs because I know we're about to start the show. Um, getting Steam installed on Debian, a fresh install, without using the um, built in dev packages for like letting it auto pick up the 32 bit cab compat. Not, it's a fucking nightmare. Okay, it is. Every time I it's a pain in the ass. Flat pack. I'm like, okay. Let's, let's, let's get the flat hub thing. Doop, 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 doop. Oh shit, it launched. Yay, because it you know, I just used run files and I install CUDA manually because there's a version of CUDA that I'm friends with. And everything worked right up into the point where I wanted to add my extra drives. <laughs> You gotta tell the flat packs to uh, yeah. allow it to access to, the extra drives. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I'm not even. No, we're done here because there's just gonna be more problems. Oh, you almost had me flat pack. Almost. Yeah, no, I gotta respect the sandbox, man. <laughs> I mean, that's technically not a bad decision. I'd rather them yeah. force me to allow it than not. But still, I I, I see where the I see where mm -hmm. that can get annoying. I, I, I run into that quite a bit. It's like I understand this decision. Yeah. I don't I don't like, I get it. I don't hundred percent agree with it, but I understand the, the rationale behind it. I can respect that. especially anything security related these days where it's like you think about it for a couple of seconds, like, yeah, yeah, that's probably what you need to do to actually pull that off. Yeah. <sighs> Age and wisdom, but like, but really? Alright, fine. Anyway, we got it in. <clears throat> we have Steam once again. Plus, I didn't want to download like a hundred and something gigs worth of games. That would have taken 40 minutes. <laughs> Poor so baby. You're saying you could have uh, set them all to download, got up, did something, and 
come back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually have to get up and do something. I don't have Jordans that are done, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, with that, you run into like, oh, I have more download speed than Valve is willing to give me. So, <laughs> oh, I run into that fucking every time I download a game, sweetheart. That is uh, 27 megabytes a second every single time. It's like, unless the game is hosted in Mordor, at which point, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it'll creep north of 55, but that's about it. That's about it. What do you normally get, Jordan? Steam. Well, norm <laughs> normally I don't have to look because it's done by the, by the time I get around to noticing. Hey, um, what was it? Uh, Ten point four megabits a second peak, I guess today. Oof, that's not very good. Yeah, oh. <laughs> that's less than half of what I get. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I will. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, right. I remember this game where it has, like, the super sexy box art, but all the gameplay is pixel, like, hipster pixel platformer. Yeah, with some context, that probably makes sense. Akane the Kanoichi. I didn't know. I'm being honest with you. I was wrong. My assumption. False. Yeah. It came in a humble bundle. I don't even know why it's in my list. Why did I click on it? What the hell is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. Was it the top one? No. Oh no! It had a. It had a. It had an update. Uh, why is it installed? Uh, because I installed it at one point and probably never got around to uninstalling it because it was like 50 megabyte game. I'm like, eh. Mm. There's a, there's a bunch of those on my system. Like the games that are just so tiny that it's inconsequential to delete them anyways. <laughs> like when when I run out of space, I'm I'm looking I'm looking for like the serious Sams and the portals and like the and like the wine games. Those are usually the first to go. Yeah, I don't run out of space. I've basically uh, kind of got myself to the point where I have the games list down the side in Steam. To where I don't have to scroll to see all the ones I have installed, because if I have to scroll, I know that I have already too many games installed. So I go around and I'm not playing this, I'm not playing this, I'm not playing this. Goodbye. <laughs> I just limit myself to 250 gigs. It takes care of itself. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's still like 40 games for me <laughs> that I don't have to scroll through. <laughs> I can play Which two and a like quarter Shadow gigs. of Wars. <laughs> I think I have Shadow of War installed. I still have to play it, but I think that one's still installed. <laughs> Let's get to group locked in. All right, so... Okay, stop looking at currencies. I was just going to try to wait you out, but I'm like, you'll get bored in a little bit. Are you going to light your farts the next Nero with the yep. power of lasers? Green lasers. All right, everyone. Let's do a show. Okay. Oh, I thought you said curtains. Damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Steve's chin. <laughs> Ugh. It just, his face just kind of ends. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'm never shaving again. <laughs> Don't worry, we, we've got a few years of you goatee free. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Same with Jordan. I know. <laughs> I'm see. I'm 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 waiting for all this to fall out so that I just have this. Just keep the chops. <clears throat> <laughs> all right, everyone. Let's pull that down. I'm going to stop. If a stream dies or anything like that, we'll come back. Just <laughs> heads up. <laughs> Fair warning. Steve Husband looks like Eddie Izzard in drag, man. You say it like it's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. This show covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. 
We are back. We are flying extremely low to the ground, on fire, one wing slightly damaged, no landing gear, also known as a Saturday mothering night. Hey, everyone, I'm Vince Stone. That is Jordan Swing, and down there is Pedro Mateus Hello. with you at home live. Up in his form, cocaine, Voltron. Lads, it's been a busy, busy, busy week of um, troubleshooting. Troubleshooting here. I had everything, everything was just working too fine, so I introduced a new piece of equipment, everything went haywire, and uh, good times were had by all, oh, most importantly. The, the, the one saving thing, we were talking about this earlier, and neither, neither of you have really, well, Pedro, you kind of know the feels, where you buy the thing for the thing it came with, but not the thing itself. And yes. Have, yeah. <laughs> like a container, and you're like, ooh, I really want that container. It's like, oh, instant coffee, and it comes with a mug. Right. Yes, please. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, 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 something just popped in my head. Buying bottles of Crown Royal for the bags. There. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Crown bags. A little get tortuna. You know, a little vibration clippy one. I was like, eh, I don't really. I mean, I have a tuner. It's just, I gotta plug it in. Like, those are kind of neat. I was thumbing through it, then then I I saw that it it came with a bag, a bag to put it in. I was so like, oh, that's a bag, Vinge. Do not make any. S-. The bag says snark on it, so I got a bag of snark. <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> <laughs> totally just bought it. I don't even know where the tuner is right now, but I know where this bag is. <laughs> Um, Let me reach into my snark bag. And say, oh yeah, fuck you! <laughs> it's so tiny. He's, he has so little snark. He has, he's he's got to spread it around. Dude, dude, it's weapons grade snark. Another thing, yo. Um, by chance, maybe if anybody works with or knows uh, anybody in the OV, OBS development team, maybe maybe we could get a you know deck link API bump to like eleven five one or at least eleven one, so to work with that new hardware. I'm just saying it might be like well over a year out of date. And so that'd be awesome. I'd love you. I'll, I'll send you a free t-shirt if you make that happen. What's new with you, JB? Oh, I, I pulled the trigger on the upgrade to Fedora 32. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So appa- apparently all the, the, the one problem I ran into was GStreamer was breaking the upgrade process because apparently they've renamed all the GStreamer libraries to GStreamer 1. And that was breaking. <laughs> Let me make an assumption. Because I'm, I'm thinking of the way I would do it. How many things would break if... Uh, uh, how many things threaten to break when you're like, you know what, let's just remove GStreamer. See, I was worried about that. <laughs> like, there are two things I'm like, do I even care about them? Probably not. How so... many times have you had, like, I need to take this one little thing? No, that'll that'll be your desktop. Yeah, that's the um, whole operating yeah. system. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, well, the, 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 this, this is why you gotta be judicious with the dash Y flag. So oh, that I, you don't no, ex- there is no dash Y in my life, period. It Never. does not exist, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, every, everything upgraded fine. I updated the NVIDIA drivers just because the old ones, ha- older-ish ones, the ones from pre may have a, uh, have a bug with the 5.6 kernels. But, yeah, it's it's all surprisingly well and good. I started Steam, I played some games, it was like, okay, well, another yet another boring upgrade. Damn it, mm-hmm. Linux used to be exciting. <laughs> I've had Will I've had so much time? excitement. I, I'm I'm good with excitement. I'm full and brimming <laughs> with excitement. How about you, Pedro? Well, uh, yeah, no, I spent uh, mostly because the Steam box was already working just fine, and I spent a lot of time actively uh, messing with it. Uh, I got uh, finally managed to make um, Steam Compositor Plus behave on uh, 2004, and it works if you just use the SteamOS installer script that they have on their GitHub page. It works now as it should. So yeah, and um, yeah, getting that to work. And basically, uh, what it does is it brings the games that spawn behind the uh, Steam um, big picture mode, like Dead Cells or the uh, Feral Screen of Nope, where they give you all the fun. It's like, oh, you're not running the recommended distro. You're not running the recommended drivers those would show up behind so you couldn't ever just uh play i think it was they only fixed that i think it was in rise of the tomb raider mm. so all the games launched before then it didn't work properly but now you can you could just launch it it goes oh there's the windows and you just go with the seam controller it's like they're done thank you <laughs> man that just makes me wish that launching horses was just that little more legal than it currently is 
I mean, I'm pretty sure the makers of Besiege also share your opinion. But for now, we just have to pump our arms, heave and ho, because it's the Steam Blitz! No, 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 no. Yeah. All right. Well, we got we got some we got a new beta client update. Uh, there are two issues being fixed here. Uh, first off, um, if you have a Thrustmaster, you are no longer the Thrustmaster until the most recent update. Um, <laughs> and as well, uh, apparently Steam was using, or the library Steam was using to connect to their CloudSync services, was trying IPv6 first. So if you had it disabled in the kernel, it wasn't working. Uh, they've added a workaround. So now if you have IPv6 disabled for whatever reason, you get cloud saves. Yay! I'm going to be the first to say, Valve, make up your mind with IPv6, man, because it's like this <laughs> on again, off again. I don't know what to do. Should I have it enabled? Maybe disable it? You know what? It doesn't I mean, matter. You're going to give me like 30 megabits down anyway. At this point in time, you probably should have IPv6 enabled because there are no IPv4 addresses available in most countries anymore. So, yeah. <laughs> But I don't, but... I, I don't. I don't want to have to learn a new addressing scheme, Pedro. Ten dot ten dot ten dot ten slash eight is my subnet mask. You know what? IPv six is great. It's brilliant. Right up to the point. If you've ever run into a situation that would force you to manually key one in, then you're like, you yeah, know what? This IPv six stuff is rubbish. Fun. I don't. I don't want anything to do. With <laughs> Does it start with FE08? No. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Check this out, though. Uh, loyalty rewards. This popped up a Pavel Zundik? Maybe. Junik? 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 Well, Posted on the Twitter. <laughs> Valve is working on loyalty awards and rewards. Um, it has a point system and a system to add reactions to user reviews. Also includes reward items, redeeming points for badge levels and possibly game discounts question mark so yay i mean i i don't know man uh like valve is doing very non-valve things here's possibly the alleged reactions <laughs> deep thoughts being heartwarming hilarious hot take poetry zelpful Zupful. Zupful. Yes. I'm, fe I'm feeling Zupful. especially Zupful <laughs> this week. I don't know, because like... That's like when, when Helpful is going to give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> when, 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 I, when, I, when I look at something like this, though, I usually, usually for me, like, customer loyalty programs are just another data point for advertising, right? So they're just probably trying to look factor in, like, another vector for trying to get games that you're interested in seeing in front of your face so that you buy them because you got to consume. Uh, or, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't actively promoting people to keep buying on the store because uh, it creates that uh, sunk cost fallacy, right? Well, it's it, like it, I've I think already it could be even more malicious this, and they give me that, all of this. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of how many times I bought something on Humble simply because I like looked up and you're like, yo, you get like six dollars in Humble rewards. I'm like, oh, yeah. well, that's six dollars <laughs> off something I was thinking possibly about. But all right, I'm just gonna buy it now since I get you know. Yeah, that's it's 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 not a bad way of trying to convince people to buy stuff. So. I mean, it will result in people yep. buying more stuff, and it's weird seeing it come from Valve. I mean, this is <laughs> they, they are just like powering Ford into like 2006, man. Um, <laughs> well, 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 considering their main competition is powering fast into like 1998. Well, they they I mean, also up. considering yeah, they're the, powering into the early days of Steam. Yeah, I, I do think it's very, the. the <laughs> Their main competition finally showed up. Yeah. Uh, there is that. Hmm. But, you know, Valve does a bunch of cool things, man. Uh, up to and including VR. Making games? Yeah. VR exclusive games. I think I remember Valve at, once, uh, at one point saying that they wouldn't do exclusives. Dude, check this out. Half-Life <laughs> Alex. This is something I was genuinely curious about, man. One million VR users to Steam and record gain. So we're seeing a nice little graph here going from effectively nothing to coming little as makes no difference, up to 2%. Uh, road to VR.com, all this fun stuff. I got to say this, man. Uh, that's still less than 2% of uh, total Steam users. So I uh, mean... Come, coming, from the, coming from the Linux users, who's holding strong at like 098 
Yeah. Um, I love reading this chart. Uh, do you run Linux, VR, Mac OS, or do you run the elusive 8 plus CPU cores? Yeah, because every, everyone knows if you have eight or more cores, you can't use any mortal operating system. No. You have to pray. To, you have to use Temple OS. Oh, dang it. I'm using the wrong operating system. Clearly. Hold on. I gotta... Jesus is so mad at you, Pedro. <laughs> so mad. No cores for Christmas. No cores for Christ. <laughs> cores for Christ. Oh. <laughs> course for Christ hashtag <laughs> hashtag course for Christ. Oh, there you go. Tax exempt, baby. Here we come. <laughs> uh, That's that a works. thing. I think there's something of like real talk to be had about that because I was curious. You know, and I know we speculated about it way back when. Like, what would it be the adoption if they just went full on dick move and released like Half Life Three VR exclusive? Would it? get people out buying these, you know, thousand dollar pieces of kit and plugging it up. I think it wouldn't hurt as we have, as we've seen with Alex, right? Like, well, I been, think that's as close as we're going to again with I, I, yeah, I mean, so half life 1.5. So, well, yeah. so, so I, I mean, it's, it, if, if they did it, if they did it tomorrow, it wouldn't work, but like in, in two, three years, mm -hmm. maybe possibly, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it's very, I guess it's still early, but even with Alex, a lot of people, they play through that and they're done with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one of the things that uh, in the articles, like the very last graph is like the uh, split between the different headsets. And uh, it, you see that like the Oculus is like, oh, that's 47%. So yeah, because yeah, that's forty four point six percent. That's, yeah. that's the cheap option. Like you, yeah. you, can, you can get you can get an Oculus headset for like five hundred dollars compared to the 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 index that's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, so you have a, a bunch of people who probably weren't using uh, Steam all that much with their VR headset, and all of a sudden they have a game on Steam that they want to play, and they already happen to have an Oculus lying around, so they're just going to plug it in. Yeah, from the from from the Linux side, it gets a little more hairy because like the the Rift or what what the Quest or whatever whatever the current oh, yeah. Oculus is, um, yeah, like that that has active driver support for Windows. And while the OpenVR project is doing a good job of making sure that there's a standardized interface for all of these VR headsets to connect to, if you're on Linux, you're kind of screwed if you're not buying a Valve headset because there's no kind guarantee of, your of support. Option, man. Yeah. yeah. Unless you have like one of those pre-production um, Oculus, uh, and e e or even the then, Razer ones, like the the very limited edition that Razer did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> two people have those. They know each other. Uh, <laughs> something that never will come, hopefully, to VR, but might possibly be getting a remastered is a game I really enjoyed playing for the first time like three years ago. Half Life Two remastered. There's been a listing found on Steam. Are we excited about this? Maybe not. Not not yeah. really. If you if if you look at the Steam DB page, they're like, yeah, this is a mod from Philip Victor, not Valve related. So, okay, so it's a mod that someone is actively doing. I mean. Probably not going to go as in depth as um, Black Mesa did, but might but yeah, be a good like thing. A, up, update, updating textures, voice <laughs> acting, like it could yeah. it could make the game look nicer. I mean, Half Life mm -hmm. Two still looks pretty good for like a ten year old game. Yeah, <laughs> it looked really <laughs> ten, good. Um, uh, Fifteen. Ten. Okay, yeah. whatever. I'm old. Leave me alone, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all down for that. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is I'm sitting back with, I think, a lot of people going, yeah, I could use another excuse to play through that again. That's mm -hmm. uh, a fun game. You know, uh, Pedro and I went through it in hard mode. <laughs> with syner with, with the synergy. the added uh, yeah. synergy, yeah. <laughs> that, that was definitely hey, hey. an interesting experience, man. Uh, I, I, I was there for a couple episodes that, a.k.a. everyone's a bullet sponge. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> it was good times. One, one clip, two clip, three clips. God damn it, why aren't you dead yet? <laughs> Updated textures. Uh, re if, it, if it got the Zen treatment, it just didn't get the last eight years of the Zen map treatment. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think I'd be down with that. 100%. Yeah. So, do we have some news about 
artifact. Yeah, we do. We, we, we got some do children's card just games. to round out the uh, the Valve games uh, because there's surprisingly uh, surprising amount of uh, Valve game news this week. This is uh, well, it's another artifact update. We've talked about how they have been. Um, going back and trying to refactor everything that people didn't really like and sort of kind of caused the game to tank as quickly as it did. And, um, well, this week uh, they're talking about the shop. And uh, they're very careful in wording. It's like, what we didn't <laughs> like... It's like players often felt compelled to uh, I, stuff their I, decks I love with this cheap items. Art, by the way. Yeah. It's so, it's so good. <laughs> And uh, what do you mean? That's not final like, designs. I want, I want that to be the final art for Demonic Archer, please, yes. Valve. I guarantee you, you will sell more cards if you just make like super janky, like West of Loathing art. People, that's so good. Yes. <laughs> Uh, West of Loathing uh, collectible card game. Get on it. Um, but yeah, basically, it's them going, it's like, okay, so. The shop was a big point of contention, and I'm reading through it, and nowhere did I read, you know, the actual problem that people had with the shop, which was the monetization of that whole game sucked mm. to start with. It's like, yeah, that, that was the problem, and clearly you haven't fixed that problem yet, so why are you bringing this up now instead of like six months down the line when you've had a chance to uh, maybe come up with something new? Is it money? Why? <laughs> That's the thing, they've already cocked up the release. The only way that they're going to get people back into it, or new people, it's going to take a significant amount of changes, and I don't see it. They're working on it. I mean, to their credit, <laughs> they're working. They're trying things. This is, uh, they could have said, you know what? It's baked, printed. It's already out. Deal with it. You don't like it. Whatever. We're Valve. <laughs> Rolls around yeah, in money. Yeah. <laughs> I, they, I mean, uh, I mean, they do to, give to, you a little email address that you can email to if you have anything to contribute and you'd like to help them, um, you know, bake uh, the new artifact into something that could be useful. It's a artifact beta feedback at valvesoftware.com. Shout out to them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, to, to Valve's credit, they are more than willing to say, like, hey, people are engaging with our games the way that we thought they would. Let's change it. Unlike, you know, your Fallout 76s or your whatever that are just yeah. like, nah. <laughs> They're like, not Bethesda bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at it like this. Maybe artifact is a way for them to go, hey, it's been a minute since we made one of these game things. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Baby steps, man. Yeah. Let's get back in the groove with it. Uh, well, uh, speaking of people making Valve games. Dude, uh, something that we played around with until we immediately ran out of levels after getting deaded by elevators was uh, Black yep. Mesa Coop. <laughs> Got some new hotness on this, don't we? Uh, what do we have? Uh, is this one? Yeah. A couple of new maps. And we have Stable Scientist, Jordan. I'm excited about that. Yeah, they're they're, 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 they're I, I like going through the release notes and seeing if there's anything weird. Fixed many crashes. Scientists will never crash the game again. Damn, damn you, scientists. I knew we never should have trusted you. Also, also the, the other one that got me was recompiled all maps. Now players can't damage each other even in deathmatch. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> to the point of I'm that, that we definitely learned about uh, when... Somebody showed up in one of our games and he, we were all playing as like not Freemans and he showed up as mm -hmm. Freeman and he was in my way and we weren't able to damage each other. Apparently we could damage the other player if you weren't on the same mm -hmm. team. So I was like, get out of my way. He was stuck and I ended up just killing him to death. Mm -hmm. He didn't come back after that. The punk. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. But yeah, no, apparently being in different teams doesn't... Uh allow you to have a uh, friendly fire hmm. but does it work without proton yet that's my question you know if the developer kept it on his word and looked at it i'm pretty sure it's a stupid easy fix is like it's probably capitalization and they maybe yeah but case, i, case I went through the notes systems. and i didn't see like the capitalizations i did see like new checkpoints in those maps that we've already gone through uh but uh yeah no uh Okay, well, since our video is on the um, mod page, as like the show this, I'll put like the yeah. annotation so it'll link to this timestamp in this episode. Sure. 
I can do that. Yeah. I have the technology. Yeah. It's crazy like that. <laughs> do it. Hey, uh, we got new games, though. Yeah, like Fury Unleashed or Furry Unleashed. I don't know. What? Furry Unleashed we seems like a very different for that. Oh, we did? <laughs> yeah, we did, yeah. Oh, no. Um, but, yeah. Um, so it's it's a combo-driven, side-scrolling Metroidvania. Um, it's basically Wombo Combo the game. Because one, th one thing they say in the description kind of piqued my interest. Apparently, you can beat the entire game in one giant combo string. Which does sound like a pretty interesting completion challenge. That's but, kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah. But, but so, so <laughs> if they're advertising, either it's real stupid easy to do, or it's insanely difficult and not worth your time. Hmm. Um, they, they, they also mentioned soft permadeath, Then I'm gonna, I gotta ask, how, how soft are we talking? Because I need at least are we three like quarters job. floppy permadeath? I, I, it's I, probably I like it. modern day roguelike uh, style of permadeath, where you, w once you die, you can do the rogue legacy thing. Uh, I see the skill tree in one of the trailers there, there we go. Uh, yeah, you just add points, and when you start the new character, it comes with a bit of a buff when compared to the previous one. Do well, you know? when when you, when when you said Rogue Legacy, I was thinking more like Rogue Legacy gives you the option where you can replay the last map you generated, but like all the treasure is gone. No, it's it's like the stats. You know, like you unlock the stats and you are sort of but building that, up but the that, castle. That, that's not that's not soft permadeath. That's just meta advancement. Yeah, round round Pedro. That, 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 no, that that's was just... aimed at both of you in your little slap fight. It was fun. I I, um, I, I know. I, I was pretending to be a cat. Round. <laughs> Moo goes the kitty, dude. Are you getting like a HD worms vibe from this? I mean, it looks very good, hipster pixel art. You know, uh, yeah, I guess it's got a good feel to it. I, I don't. I doesn't. It doesn't really seem hipster pixely. I mean, these these look drawn. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, pixels can be drawn too. You fascist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a communist, damn it! Is... I can't wait, wait, no, no, hold on. That's the that's the last story. Never mind. Ignore that. Reread um, the script, damn it! Learn your lines. Never. Let's let's go on an adventure, then. Okay, fine. Uh, echoes of an adventure, not your regular ordinary adventure. Nay, none of that nonsense. Come on, switch. There we go. Good boy. Uh, what is this? You wander around, you melt snow, and I'm kind of down with that. 100%. I mean, it's a treasure hunt puzzle game. You get to explore Grandpa's ship. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, there's Grandpa's ship that you get to explore. According to the trailer. But, but, how much would you pay for this? Not much. It's free. It's, it's priced cheap. to sell. Cheap so, is free. Yeah. yeah. Free is pretty good. Yeah. If, you, if, if, you're go <laughs> if you're going insane from quarantine and you at least want to pretend to go for a walk, this might be the game for you. But yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like a puzzle game. It's sort of like that Yogg's Quest where you can like alter the terrain height and depending on how you manipulate the terrain, like secrets and other paths open. Ow, I just hit on a cardboard box. Jordan, I don't know how I feel about <laughs> this now. I, I'm reading through the system requirements and additional notes for SteamOS and Linux. This version has been tested Whoa. less than the Windows release and may have unknown issues. You know what? I'm fine with that. But the next sentence, for optimal experience, play the window. You know what? Dynafire. Yeah, yeah. No, that was completely unnecessary. You could have just left it just like, we didn't test all that much, so let us know if yeah. you have an issue. Could have just left it at that. They no, Honestly, I, I, they, they could, could have could also mean the, like, We tapped the export on Unity, so. Yeah, yeah. The, the, there, there should be like an option in Steam that's just a big disclaimer. Play in Proton. Just mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> Save yourself the time. But we wouldn't get gaming graphical jugger. What is this? this Engine evolution. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. So <laughs> I, 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 I did, I did a double take on this because there's some. There's some there's some English here. Experience the evolution of motorbike enthusiasm since 1912. Gradually unlock newer bikes in dramatic online races to current bikes in a sophisticated gaming economy. Um, <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, those people look equally dead inside as they do in anything from um, Codemasters. <laughs> True. I mean, so it, it, it's it's free. It, it 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 has it has online multiplayer. Wait, wait, so Did we, are we t posing? Yeah, we are. T posing. Yep. T I yeah. thought you meant on the bike. They're just, they're not even holding onto the handlebars. They're just like woo, woo. no, no. That that would be hilarious if they were. But yeah, you know, it's it's free. It has multiplayer. Might be worth a look. 
Um, apparently, it has online PvP. PvP so. in a racing mm-hmm. game. That okay. In a in a motorcycle racing game, can you get like yeah. lances and joust each other? Because that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm not brave enough to try it in the after show because this is like. This smells like a herdlock or something else yeah, equally. Yeah, this as, smells yeah. like, you know, early days of Unity where it's like your whole system just goes... <laughs> maybe, maybe something but, to play around with a little bit later, though. Ma- yeah, maybe. Although they need to change, like, the UI, like, the menus. I was looking at some of the screenshots. It's like, why is that making my eyes hurt? Oh, yeah, it's the striping. Okay. <laughs> put, put, put more in. It hurts, Pedro. I didn't even notice. More that. stripes. <laughs> More stripes. You know, dude, next week we got to show up on like pinstripe suits and stuff. It's like Pedro's kryptonite. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, if I go crazy, will you still call me Superman? Uh, no, probably not. No, no but shut up, uh, Batman. Maybe no, no, no. We nah. can play Data Dream because uh, that is currently out on Steam. What the? And hot? it's a 3D. What? Yeah. <laughs> because it looks exactly like one of the aliens from um eiffel 65's um <laughs> music video there yeah yeah because uh, but... in the ge- in the game if you turn green you green you just die yep uh so yeah you're very much blue and they describe it as a 3d platformer a biodigital landscape filled with walking talking computer components uh finds itself in a state of peril following a malicious invasion mm. okay <laughs> I, I, honestly i, I, mean, I kind of the... lost it at the alien design because i saw that screenshot that you showed earlier da like, oh. da da. <laughs> yeah like it, it, it definitely has an aesthetic and i'm like this looks super janky but like you could almost say this was a conscious decision like someone looked at it and went like yes i want everything to look like a rainmaker animation from like the early 90s well, you i want my it, mtv I mean, motherfuckers you money for nothing and chicks are free what is <laughs> under because again we got to roll back to steven's sausage roll yeah you you never know what's you under look the, at the yeah like that could this could be like one of the most mind just programmer experiences. art yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude uh tonight we riot indeed all right, so uh, th- uh, this game was uh, demoed at uh, one at um, what was it? Game Fair, Game Jam. That's that's the word I'm looking for. A while ago, um, and it finally got released uh, tonight. We riot is basically a crowd based brawler. You set your two sides. You got your you got your anarchists and you got your cops, and you're trying to play as the anarchists, trying to blow up the cops. Uh, it's got a bunch of multiplayer, um, or it's got couch multiplayer, um, at least. So I like there's the blurb. That. <laughs> it, it the 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 art style kind of reminds me a bit of Death Road to Canada, um, and yeah, it's uh they say it's unapologetically political. So couch no. go up twenty unlockable <laughs> weapons, a dog, whimsy, kaiju, um, kaiju, a wood chipper, yep. endless mode, and horror synth. Ah, my favorite synth of all the horror synth. Uh, what do we need? To <laughs> Not much. Uh, yeah. Yep. It'll, it'll, it'll run on your cell phone. Uh, and it's, uh, you can pick it up for about 17 Canadian. What's that, like 15 US? Um, 14.99, baby. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so if so that's your jam, I mean, every time I see something like this, how, how often, I know we constantly harp on it. We're like, hey, online multiplayer, it's a thing. Right now, people who've designed games that are selling games with online multiplayer, like, yank, yoink. Yeah. Th- yeah, though to though to be fair, this looks like one that could be played with uh, remote play, and you wouldn't really lose much. Sometimes. Well, Probably. then again, we think about the internet being overloaded right now too. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Valve did build their own sort of VPN, so right. But well, they could do that. The, there's still Valve. that last copper mile. You gotta, you gotta worry about. Yeah. Valve needs a. Um, Demake version where it just turns every game multiplayer into like a text adventure. Oh yeah, just like a mud get you yeah. flask. An ASCII uh ASCII, ASCII reencoder. Really. Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> can, can, can we can we get that for like Black Mesa? That would be amazing. No. <laughs> no. Ooh. Coming up next, DOSBox finally enters the new millennium. Oh my god. And also set up scripts. Why are they a thing? Perfect spot for an OMG dot bad joke, but Okay. 
Okay. Tonight, okay. we dine in hell. I thought you were going to be like, tonight, The Undertaker yes. takes on Pedro Mateus for the champion belts. <laughs> is this, he's still, is he dead or alive? He's still alive, but okay. he's not doing, he's not doing wrestling anymore. Okay. I just want to see The Undertaker beat up Pedro. That'd be hilarious. Fair enough. What's that song? I hope the Undertaker <laughs> kicks your ass. Oh, as you're I hope going you go to, to the, the store. grocery store as a, a golf you, ball. You don't have enough money, accident. so you can't afford all the items that you brought to the checkout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, you need yes, and you get bit yeah, by, the, the, uh, the, yeah, the coupon. Yeah. The coupon you brought expired, <laughs> so you don't have enough money for all the stuff you brought. Yeah, that's a that's a good song, man. Uh, what do we have? Vote. 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 Got a couple. I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 I'm voting for Course for Christ. <laughs> okay, of course. Hurry <laughs> and leash. Just to fuck course with you two. Course for Christ, man. <laughs> course for Christ. <laughs> now we gotta get Course for Christ t shirts. <laughs> we do well. I mean, we we could we could see if Christian Mingle is willing to go have these on them. They are they were advertising on our site for a while. Uh, I'm just thinking about like the um, impending like court case thirty years from now, or like the behind the scenes. So how did the cult get started? Well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> people were donating their old CPUs, and eventually we got enough it rare metals to uh, from there. <laughs> that looks like every. Buddy, I knew that owned a skate shop from mid nineties on. <laughs> you know, you know he has on the um, like the shorts. Yeah, those shorts. The cargo you know? shorts. Yeah, cargo shorts. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> he's no one. I, I I just like the I just like the meme where like they take Undertaker and put him on episodes of Frasier because him and Kelsey Grammer look alike. You go to some strange internet parts. <laughs> yeah. I need to pee. <laughs> okay. Like this. See, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> of course, for Christ. CFC, baby. Oh a, man, I just I just had an awful idea where it, like instead of it's basically just like Jesus on a crucifix, but instead of nails, uh -huh. it's like CPU pins. You spinning it. Oh. oh. The. Yeah, yeah, like the imagery for that just writes itself. Yeah. No stuff for you, baby. This is definitely a non-zero enforcement socket. Yeah, man. Watch well, some chinas not earlier this week. Did you play anything fun this week? Do you see anything good? Ah, uh, no. I've been building up a competitive Pokemon team again because it's brainless enough that it like causes hours to black out in my life. Okay, as somebody who knows, I have a working South Park episode knowledge of Pokemon. What the hell is a competitive Pokemon team? All right, so um, the cur the current like champion competitive format is two v two. Is this something uh, you play online? You play? Yeah, you, yeah, you can, you can play it online. There's actually like a there's a Pokemon Showdown, which is a website that basically just implements the rules of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. You can just build teams and test them against other people. Um, but yeah, like it's all about I'm just like basically min maxing the Pokemon, finding move sets that will address most of the current threats that you'd have to deal with. Blah blah blah. I don't know. I enjoy it. I, Jill, it would be speaking in threads. Thank you very much. I don't know, dude. I, I would think like Risk would be a heretic. Risk is the devil. Yeah. It'd be risky.
He is just getting back. He didn't start until last Tuesday. Actually, kind of, yeah. Yeah. I still don't really understand what it is, but he enjoys it. That's important. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I can explain all the math to you, but then you just, like, tune out. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> It's a oh, puzzle man. game so with I like little... ne ne Nemo challenge mode having friends. Uh, I haven't. I don't think I've ever finished one since the gold slash silver versions. I played like all of the improvements to uh, the original ones, like Leaf Green. Leaf Green was pretty good. <laughs> so if they had like a Pokemon um, COVID edition, uh, could it be called Poke Dots? Well, they, they 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 changed Pokemon Go, so now you can just play it from your house. Oh, you don't have man. to go anywhere. <laughs> if they had Pokemon, and they already like, have coughing in a in a so. like, where like you had like drug decriminalization. Do you think we'd ever get like a Pokemon Grow? Yeah, Bulbasaur is basically <laughs> marijuana. All right. <laughs> There, there are there are many Pokemon where it's like, yeah, someone was on drugs when they designed this. Hi, Mr. Mime. I don't know, man. Again, I, from my limited experience, it's like genuinely 10 minutes went into that. Character design. And especially the names. The names are like Jenga. Not even Jenga. Um, well, so I, 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 apparently the thing with the name, name apparently the thing with the names is that they try to like make it so that the puns translate into as many languages as possible. That sounds like some Nintendo level shit. Yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Game freak to be more precise, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, don't talk to me about coughing though, fucking Pedro. I spent like a day bre breeding a, co a competitive ready coughing. That took way too long. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're talking about a COVID Pokemon, it's it's coughing. <laughs> I, no, I, I think I think Deoxys is straight up the virus Pokemon. <laughs> oh wow! Let me get something to drink. Yes. <laughs> HR puff and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, but my old uh, roommate from university calls himself Snufflepuff. <laughs> I wonder if he's watching right now. <laughs> Hi, Snufflepuff. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I've I've also been looking into maybe trying out Temtem because that seems interesting. That's the Pokemon with the serial numbers filed off that humbles. Funding. Yeah, <laughs> it's the humble Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know. I, I as much as like Sword and Shield is a technical shit show, like the the rule changes they made to the battling are actually pretty solid. Where like speed isn't cal is calculated like dynamically now. So if you run a trick room team, like when you set trick room, it's active immediately. It's not active the next turn. Blah blah blah. Okay, all right. Because uh, I the, never, I ended up never using like the buffing abilities because it was pointless. It's like no, oh, in, I could in, be in, dealing damage, but instead I'm buffing myself. What? <laughs> in, in, so in 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 single player, yes. That's the valid strat, but in competitive, you can't get away with that because there are too there's too many damage mitigation strategies, and you'll just yeah. die. <laughs> like, the the basic basically like competitive Pokemon is at the point now where it's like I know that my guy can one or two shot anyone, so I have to figure out a way to get rid of you first. And part of part of that is like getting a good setup, like two nasty plots or two swords dance, and like you have to get rid of this enemy dude or you're fucked. You're gonna lose. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot of predictions in head games, which is surprising, but, you know. <laughs> I mean, that is, like, the meta that develops around a game in just for the multiplayer scene, because Dark Souls is a good example of that, because if you're just playing the game to, like, beat 
the environment. You can play whatever class you want, basically. You can't really screw yourself over, but... If you're going into PvP, as you see on my streams, you know, besides the fact that I can't play for shit, uh, <laughs> people spec for PvP, and they come in and they two-shot me. It's like, oh, okay, all right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> that is like the one thing I know about Dark Souls is every time Pedro's going, hey, I'm gonna, yeah, you, but, you about to die. Gonna pop an ember. Um, <laughs> atomic, what? I don't know. <laughs> Brown it's got, pants. It, it's gotta look janky. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> if it doesn't look like Pedro drew it, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. <laughs> Can I find my DeviantArt page in... Couple of minutes. minutes. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Let's, let's see what kind of weird porn you draw. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not again. I, I'm making time. Oh, there we go. I found a picture of me drawing myself. Uh, okay. Share with the glass so I can put it up for everyone. It's a, wait. Oh. It's a picture of you in the act of drawing yourself. Yeah. Uh, no. It, uh, I'm a download it first. Why don't you just give me a fucking link, son? Because the link is like two thousand characters long. <laughs> Put it in Hangouts. There. Send it to me in Hangouts. I want to see the whole thing. That, that, that's that, it. I, no, that I want to. I, I want to see the page. Oh, you want to see the page. There okay. we go. Comments, <laughs> comments, comments. Oh, did you get that weren't any? <laughs> there, see, the whole page. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that it took so long, everyone. But he's going to be patient with him. He gets it eventually. <laughs> that, that's all? No. He uses it to post screenshots, apparently. <laughs> and apparently the Skyrim <laughs> logo. That's a, that's a self-portrait by Pedro of mm -hmm. himself. Oh. What? <laughs> Pokemans! <laughs> it's Mewtwo! Mewtwo the Hedgehog! <laughs> Gotta go fast! <laughs> You try there, Jordan. You did. <laughs> that uh, I don't know. That how much how much for you to get that as the tattoo though, Pedro? <laughs> oh no, no, you you gotta get that like prominently on your stomach. I'm just I, I'm saying because a. It's going to cost me out of pocket to find a tattoo artist willing to do that. <laughs> I don't think that'll be that hard, to be honest. Okay, one that I would feel comfortable Patreon not contracting something from. <laughs> Still, I don't think that would be that hard. Um, once I know, don't do shit like that, period. You can bring all your LOL joke shit and they'll tell you go find some play socks. All right. <laughs> I guess they hate money. I no, it's more about like no, they hate I, the lawsuits that come afterwards. It's not even that so much as you might say where you got it from, and they will be associated true. with it. There is quite a bit of word of mouth when it comes to tattoo artists. I mean, we'll we'll keep that on standby just in case. Maybe we'll run across someone. Oh no! Actually, does does Teespring do temporary tattoos? No, they just do regular ones. They show up at your house. It's Amazon. <laughs> it's like, eh. <laughs> who's up for the tattoo? <laughs> right, no, but they just like give it to the regular Amazon delivery people who are not oh, yeah. tattoo artists. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, they got a gun like clumsily taped to one of their arms. Like, I got this. <laughs> they show up with a like, um, fifth of Hennessy. I, I need it. My hands are too shaky otherwise. Other, right. Oh, and it's like, it's not for you. 
Although I did a wallpaper. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Trying to get sued by the gorillas. So, so Fedentio <laughs> is taking a poop. Twenty twelve. I think it might have been close. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Let's see. When did Feel Good Ink come out? Feel Good Ink video release it's been a long time Dang. because i remember when they went back and made all of their videos hd and had them properly upscaled to this thing called yeah. 720p oh 2005 oh. wow <laughs> oh jeez it's been a minute yeah <laughs> do, you, do you have any accounts that you were forever locked out of Probably. My first email account. Mm. Probably but, my old Neopets account. 100%. <laughs> something my first that you, email account. No, okay, um, here, here, difficult to multiply or something that you're, you have reasonable assurance that it's still around, still has data in it, but you have no way of accessing it anymore. Like even the backup email for that, what, that account's even gone. No, probably not. The Winamp store? Is that still around? <laughs> it really whips the llama's ass. We got a Nintendo Wii account. All right, that, that's legit. <laughs> what really pisses me off is Nintendo doesn't have a single sign-on thing. I have a separate account for both my Nintendo 3DS and my Switch, which is stupid. It should just be well, one I mean, account. they didn't introduce, like, cloud backups until last year, man. It takes a minute. That's that's true. Yeah, <laughs> Nintendo is... And even then, is, only some of the times. N Nintendo is pretty historically consistent about shitting the bed when it comes to any sort of online functionality. <laughs> Maybe they'll go back to just cartridges. I mean, they kind of did. They're distributing game on games on basically flashcards. Yeah, the tasty ones. Yeah. Huh? This is a quiet taste, but I'm just saying, man. I mean, I, that's that's the thing with me and embitterance is like eventually I grow to like them. Right. And it's just like, I my body tells me I hate it, but I secretly love it. Nom 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 nom. D don't give me something that challenges me. I got I, 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 I can put up with this. It's like spicy foods, man. But then you just end up liking spicy food. You don't like something if it's not hot. So hot. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> So hot, you guys. Uh, and this is the last one I'll post for my old DeviantArt okay. things. Kylo Ren? <laughs> what was that? I gotta pee! Get this mask off! Why did you build it again? Because... One director hated the other one and immediately undone. Yep. Yep. Like in the opening scene, he's like, nope. Mask is coming back. Yep. Yep. I just, I, I just keep thinking about that one bit from Space Ball. It's like, don't ever have your mask down in front of me. I can't tell if you're making faces at me or something. <laughs> <laughs> Spaceballs was such a better Star Wars movie than Lost than the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, Everyone said the Clone Wars was really good. That just ended. They're like, "Oh my God, it's the best Star Wars." I couldn't get into Clone Wars. It was, I, I I I enjoyed the ending. It was pretty good. That's what and I'm like. Oh, the last four episodes, best Star Wars ever made. I, I, I have a lot of catching up to do. Good story. Maybe I'll read the book. Actually, a lot of the Clone Wars stuff is adapted from novels or adapted into novels, so you could. Yeah. I'm going to listen to it. It is. Like Audio, audiobook. Book. Yeah, the, the equivalent, you know, just playing the or, or, or just the YouTube channels that will, like, basically read the scripts of the episodes of you for you verbatim. I'm sure that exists. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, it's time to shill. Let's go. I'm going to 
trying to pause that. There we go. Now it's paused. In three, two. And it's about time we eh, maybe take a little bit of a break. I I really like how, like, right when I was transitioning to you, you kind of looked into it and you're like, Pepperidge Farms. But you didn't say (laughs) that. Now I want, no, now I want soft Farm cookies. remembers a great deal of many things. You but want an it, Amish it man to remember. sell you a Linux distribution. I want some goldfish crackers. Linux game cast. It, 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 did you, 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 you missed out. You really should be watching live. You could have seen um, Ky- <laughs> Kylo <laughs> Mateus. Pe- 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 Pedro Ren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, if, 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 if you want to fund our remake of The Rise of Skywalker, you can there head on is. over to... Kind of. there, 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 there it is. Yeah. <laughs> That I, every I, time I, I, I see that, I'm just like, you know, Nori, you can go to an optometrist now. You're in the UK. You can... every, every, from from that angle, I'm like, Chris Angel, what? No, um, <laughs> but yeah, fun, 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 fun there, Star Wars remake. Go to LinuxGameCast.com, move your mouse over the support buttons, click on one of the links that appear underneath it. It's crazy. You can support us via number methods like ah. pay and Bitcoin and uh paypal and we got we got some merch we'll talk about that later but you should head on over to our patreon because that's where all the good I do stuff what I want. is i'm gonna go look at the merch well fine you can do that while i talk about patreon <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> you, you can you can get in a uh, bottom floor for a dollar a month pretty much or uh, four dollars a month it's uh you get access to uh the discord for a little bit more, you get access to the show notes. You can watch the show congeal week by week. You can even suggest stories or fact check us or just tell us we're idiots in our Google Doc. You get the you access can. to do that. You absolutely can. <laughs> um, also, also, if you're a patron, you can RSVP to the game streams. We're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm doing Serious Sam 2 on Thursdays. Pedro and Ven are going through Vol- Return to Castle Wolfenstein co-op on Fridays. Oh, if you want to yeah. drop in, Patreons get first crack at uh, game slots. Do so you if you want, play, I want yeah. to be part of history as it's being made? This is uh, we, Pedro <laughs> and I slammed. We were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows. And speaking of things you get um, access to, you probably get like that's like an extra four hours of content. If you like what we do, you want something to listen to, you get that. That's a little bonus soda we like to throw in for helping us out. But we have ran into a level on the RTCW Coop that makes the bridge level, if you remember Left for Brad, that series, and mm-hmm. how many hours <laughs> we went before we got through that cakewalk compared to what we're up against. It's felt. <laughs> so what I'm saying is the more, the merrier. Indeed. Uh, we, we, we got a brand new Patreon. We got we to gotta thank Dodger. No, no not... Not Dodger? I said, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, but not that Dodger. The Wait, other Dodger. now I'm more curious. <laughs> what do you think I said? I said, no, we don't. Or I thought you said, no, we don't. <laughs> I, I think I this know. one's it's... broken. We're going to hit a new Jordan. I, I, you know what? You, 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 you're just randomly contrarian sometimes. I've been trained to expect that from you. you, you that, that, one, that one's 100% on you. Um, well, yeah, we, we, do, we do got a story. You saw a little sneak peek of that before. Uh, we got t-shirts. We got stickers. We got coffee bugs. We will soon have pan- fanny packs. We might have panty temporary ta- panty facts. Uh, we will fax <laughs> you some facts. pantyhose. <laughs> I do not want to see the high fantasy creature known as. <laughs> I am the great and powerful panty dragon panty facts. I don't know. Man. Uh, <laughs> All right, now I kind of want to see it just a little bit though. Yeah, like, uh, uh, we, we 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 might have some temporary tattoos of Pedro self portrait in the future. Again, if you're not watching live. You're missing out. <laughs> I will straight. You know what? That could. All right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, we, we also got Amazon wishlist. If you want to help us put all our stuff together, uh, contribute some hardware to the show. Uh, you can find that also on the support uh, link. And yeah, if you donate some stuff, then you get your name on that glowing, shiny wall that no one can read behind Ven's head. It's too shiny, man. That's, uh, that's horrible thing. <laughs> Hey man, everyone who's uh, helped put together the studio, we this is version 2.0. This is a more fluid version, um, but you will forever be immortalized. Um, whatever you decide to write, within reason. Uh, you put a web zone on there, your Twitter handle, or anything like that. Within reason, mind you. So um, <laughs> you, you you can also make us say stupid stuff on on the air by li- you leaving a little thank you note. Yeah. Within reason. <laughs> within within reason. <laughs> yes. If it doesn't get us arrested. Again. Or, or take it off Twitch. We, can, we kind of need this platform. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Let's, let's get into the news. Serious business, Do- you guys. 
So cereal, DOS box stagging. You know what? I'm going to give them credit right out of the box with the installation instruction, putting Linux up top where it didn't belong. Yeah, or mm. or Steam on Linux, which Ooh. is a different Linux. It's true. <laughs> um, it's Steam OS. Uh, but yeah, so it's a quote unquote soft fork, which basically means it is a fork people are going to start using now of DOS box. It comes with. Uh, handy features such as SDL2 so that it doesn't screw up your multi-monitor <laughs> configurations <laughs> and supports controllers. I was a little mad because in the release notes they also added metal support which originally made me go, but we're Vulcan, but then I realized that it's it's DOS. It doesn't really need Vulcan. You know what? You know what? You, you can just you die in a fire because I want to live in a future where I get to play Gorilla.bat with Vulcan. No, motherfucker. They have already implemented OpenGL in Vulkan, so even if it's using OpenGL, you can still play it in Vulkan. Everything needs Vulkan, is what I'm saying. We you need to remake heathen. the Linux kernel in Vulkan. <laughs> You're a monster. I'd use that. I, have, I haven't even gotten started yet. I'm going to turn your food into Vulkan, and your refrigerator into Vulkan, and the entire Some universe. Good news, though. On the audio front, support for Flack Opus and MP3 CETA tracks. Nice. Uh, they've also uh, enabled uh, dynamic recompilation to support 64-bit, which gives some better performance under Linux as well. Yes. This is good. Um, definitely with the SDL2, because that takes a little bit of the uh, sportiness out of, like, because nothing <laughs> nothing is... Uh, the, the feeling, if you've not had it, SDL1 with multi-monitor setup when one or possibly two or sometimes all of your monitors just turn black. You're like, oh no. Mm -hmm. You don't, you're just, just got on the roller coaster and you don't know how it's going to end up. And then, and then one of your UHD <laughs> monitors is stuck in 640 by 480 and you're yeah. like, yep. Adventure time. <laughs> the pixels. The pixels. It happens, man. Uh, open Discord overlay. So there's a there is a browser based version of this, but you know maybe running another Chromium instance is eating up all your RAM. So they have a QTX11 based one that looks pretty much like the one that shows up in the after show. Uh, it's not surprising yes. or anything, but it's it's pretty <laughs> bare bones. But again, it's a nice to have if you're doing a live stream. Want to see that people like ultra mega chungus? That is the chungus among us. Okay, it's like the wolf the among chungus. us. But <laughs> Let's see. You don't need much. What do you need? Python 3, more Python, and a little bit extra Python. And it comes right up. It's Python and Qt. That's it. Yep. <laughs> also, this is for Linux, and I'm reading the usage. Uh, there's no exploit for Linux, so just you might want to go back and, I don't know, fix that. You could build it on Windows if you hate yourself. Um, I mean, you could run exploit and wine, right? Right. <laughs> Maybe the install. Can you? Uh, <laughs> run it in Proton, see if it works. <laughs> Watch it work flawlessly. I'm like, okay. Fine. T yeah. Fine. Tell, tell, tell me about your fertile crescent, Pedro. All right. Well, apparently, my fertile crescent is a real time strategy game. <laughs> Narcolepsy. You triggered uh, the. I did. <laughs> I heard of that. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the moral of the story is you can never sleep again, Pedro. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it kind of just markets itself as like an old school RTS, but it has some of the gameplay conventions of newer RTS. And you know what? I got to admit, I really like the Bronze Age as a, as a setting. It's really cool. It's kind of unexplored. Basically, nobody knows jack shit about anything at this time. So you could work in whatever yeah. fancy <laughs> elements you want uh, and just claim, oh, it's how the people interpreted it. Um, yeah, it's got on online multiplayer. Check um, this out. It's got an Australia regional server. It is. It is also free. So if you want to check it out, it won't cost you anything. They have an official Discord, so you can pop over there and check that out. It's really small, too. We're only talking about 40 megs, so... 40, 40, yeah, 41 for Linux. To be, um, early in development, if that build number is anything to go by. <laughs> yeah, Something to play with, man. I mean, come on. You yeah. played the Maple Story thing. This is no worse than that. I can't play that on Linux. You can <laughs> play a, this on Linux. Thing. <laughs> yeah. I, so, I certainly don't play this on Linux because it's strategy. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's one reason why the Fertile Crescent is better than MapleStory. With your Baron Crescent. Crescent, yes. Damn right, it, Crescent? see what you started, Sven. Crescent! <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, Ultra kill. <laughs> Ultra kill prelude. Dun, dun, dun. There's another uh, thing from Itched Links. All this stuff is in our show notes. Uh, it's a free demo uh, for the full game that's coming out in 2020. Um, and it, it's it's another shooter in like the vein of Dusk and um, what was it? Uh, Strafe or whatever. Yeah, yeah it looks a lot like Strafe. <laughs> I, I, actually, I think it looks pretty good, though, for like the type of aesthetic it's, it's trying to capture. It's got that feel to it, man. It's got that uh, maybe that, a that, slightly... That quakey... Yeah, uh, slightly demade quake, like quake gel. Yeah. Think about that, or yeah. quake glide, and yeah. with flowers. Indeed, <laughs> flowers and zombies, it's zombie flowers. Um, but yeah, um, they 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 at the moment they have five levels uh, and a secret mission, uh, two difficulties, blah blah blah. Uh, you can download it from uh, itch. It's about 136 megs, and yeah, like I said, it, lo- it looks pretty good. I'm done with it, man. I didn't get a chance to try it out this week. Uh, where are we at with these? Because, you know, kind of like this, that cycle kind of uh, came and went, you know, like the retro. And it was a very short cycle, unlike like hipster yes. pixels. This, <laughs> probably for about, what, six months, we had a couple. I think we had like two on this show that were the yeah. retro Yeah, it was FPS. Strafe and uh. Dusk. Yeah. Yeah. What do we feel about that, man? I mean, I, I so, like it. I liked Strafe a lot. Dusk, I could go without, but uh, well, at I, least the developers of Dusk are pretty <laughs> funny on Twitter. Uh, they're worth a follow. Uh, but Strafe, I liked. I liked Strafe a lot. <laughs> uh, in, in in terms of Linux, though, I think it's a little bit different from like the Windows folks because for a while on Linux, all we had was shooters. All we had was like IO th- Quake three based shooters. Yeah. Um, so a, a lot of a lot of a lot of Linux gamers are kind of burned out on the shooter genre. But having more of them isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially if they're well done. So hmm. yeah. Curiously curiously optimistic with this 100 percent um I, I always like what it says on the outside on the 10 then i maybe it's all it's always the mechanics but then again that's any game though right so i can't really um what what, what i'm interested in is apparently they've taken some elements from like devil may cry mm-hmm. which i mean i'm interested to see how that factors in mope mm. it's got a mope Spectacle setting tactical fighter first nope. person shooter uh uh-uh. you see the flowers you start moping <laughs> oh no then, then Jordan goes blurry and he comes back I'm so blurry you mope Looping too hard man tears. you heard the camera right? yes salty salty delicious tears D-Bain Dibouin gaming setup baby you know it another bit open source from GitHub interactive shell script for installing recommended tools to game efficiently on Debian that's right no more inefficient gaming on Debian because you know <laughs> everyone knows the gaming distro of choice Debian 10 baby the one I'm running for a stable production system absolutely first stop when it comes to Linux gaming and I might be slightly what's in this out about SH I gotta go creep Pedro did you see anything fun in here I well I had a look through the script and it sets up steam it sets up wine and it sets up lutris it also gives you like the choices like are you running AMD or Nvidia graphics and then it will either uh, set up the back porch repo for the AMD drivers to, so you can get more up to date Mesa mm-hmm. or it'll uh, enable the um, Nvidia thing <laughs> that lets you install the Nvidia drivers and uh, yeah no it's it seems sane enough from what I could see of it. Yeah, it's 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 definitely it's definitely a bash script. I remember when setup scripts were a thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it, man, it, it, because I'm looking here in the notes and I I, I, I don't know what she's <laughs> Ansible. So, ans- yeah, an- Ansible is great for doing this kind of setup stuff. When I'm I setting up a Steam box, after I get Ansible set up, um. <laughs> yeah, pip, pip, pip install Ansible. Ansible run a playbook. That's it. Um, I, I don't I don't know. I when, when when it comes to doing configuration management and maybe my time in enterprise is is coloring my opinion on this. But if your setup is done via a shell script, you're doing it wrong. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll definitely work, but like maintaining this is not fun. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, especially, 
But mind you, you don't have to run a setup script across like 500 machines. You just got to run it on your one Debian gaming system. Well, that's, uh, you yeah, know, I, I have a list of stuff I have to do to a box before it, I, it's like venified with audioness. And yeah, I, I haven't even bothered scripting that, and, which I need to. But wh- where, where do you draw that line, though, for like a deployment? Like, when does a bash script become like, okay, all right, I, I probably need to do this in something real? If at some point I need to do a nested loop, mm-hmm. it, I'm no longer using Bash. Okay, I'm gonna switch. Well, fair, I'm gonna, fair enough. That that that's my cutoff. If like I need like actual logic in here, now I'm gonna I'm gonna cut over to Python or something else. Well, if, this if is it's handy. Just like, yeah. If you're using Debian, and maybe something to look into, maybe probably already. See, that's another thing. I mean, if you if you're just running a regular Debian, you probably know what you get yourself into to the point of. Mm, probably not if you're going to do something like this you do it yourself but hey man i like that the option is there <laughs> yeah i i mean like there's this i and again like pedro said this really only sets up like wine steam and installs a driver so i i, I feel it could do a little bit more maybe mess around with the governor install game mode blah 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 but that's why it's open source and on github so if you got some neat features you want to add to the script do a pull request yep. speaking of neat features a neat feature that you can add to your stream um, when you play in games is a little transparent overlay in the bottom right-hand corner of a Nintendo Power Pad that court wait. Why didn't you show me that, Pedro? <laughs> you can actually change it, not to the Nintendo Power Pad, but to the um, little um, 8-bit do NES Pro. That They actually have this one as one of the overlays. But what are you no, talking about? about- Open joystick display, and it, it's the thing that if you've ever watched one of my Tuesday uh, Dark Souls streams, you probably saw in the uh, lower right you corner see, there. It starts um, off, you're like, oh, is this just regular screen capture video? I don't Oh, what? Now I'm just going to <laughs> Yeah, no, Van the, did the uh, fancy upscaling and fancy zooming around, so it looks very, very nice. But yeah, it's... um. It's basically a teeny tiny little video. It's five minutes that shows you. You go to OpenJoystickDisplay.com. Should put that on the right side. Armchair director. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> and uh, you go, um, you download it. There's there's even uh, an app image if you don't want to use a tar.gz or the deb. And you set it up. And it's, Didn't you say yeah, that you uh, need to be careful not to make the buttons sparkle? You had to be careful I, I with want, the color you pick button. for the background because if, in my case, I was using the DualShock 4, and the DualShock 4 has green, blue, and magenta, which are like the default uh, options in the chroma key filter in um, OBS. So uh, that will uh, make that re- specific button transparent. And even yellow, if you do like I did in the video, it'll still make the circle button go transparent because apparently red has a little bit of yellow in it. <laughs> that or the chroma key uh, filter in OBS is jacked up and you actually need to set the color similarity down to, I think, around 300 so that it actually shows up as red. <laughs> so, so Pedro, I have a question for you because I am infinitely ashamed of my button mashing. Why <laughs> in heaven would you want to show the people on your stream what you're doing on your controller? Uh, people like to stop all right, all right. certain hang on, specific hang on, people. Hang on, hang on, yeah. <laughs> Think about all the weird fidgety bullshit that you like to see, Jordan. Like a fidget spinner? Yeah. <laughs> no, you think about like data and information. Like I don't care if it's on there or not. But yeah, there's those people that are like, I'm watching a game. I need to see what the person. Oh pushing. no no! I I I I get it. I just at no point want to reveal this to my audience because it's terrible. You see, I no, want that's one. Dark Souls. That that that's a whole meta in and of itself. It's its own thing. He's not necessarily <laughs> playing. Hey, I'm playing Dark Souls on Linux. He's more like, hey, Dark Souls people are gonna watch this. Um, yeah, uh, it's like, oh, it's a Dark Souls uh, stream. I'm just gonna put this here now, to stop those to, people. See, now knowing this, <laughs> and now we've explained this, <laughs> we need to file. I, I'm gonna have to file a feature request to get that map to an Nintendo Power Pad. So you I, I wonder if you can get it with like the old NES Zapper. Just click. <laughs> oh no, dude! Uh, all types or like of an things. Atari. Yeah, yeah, Atari Lynx. 
Or, no, or, or just like the old Atari joystick. So no matter what button you press, it That's just, just hits the, the one. Button. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. The, the, the Wicked Map into like, I don't know, grapefruit? Yeah. Or or like turn, turn it into like a Guitar Hero controller. Oh, no. Just, the, then we do the face reveal cut and Pedro is playing it with a Guitar Hero controller after it runs. <laughs> no, like Pedro is playing it like with a blindfold and like wow. a ball gag in his mouth. Guitar Hero while jumping up and down on a Nintendo power pad. <laughs> on weed. On two weeds. On two weeds injected in his eyeballs. Coming up next, uh, we're going to raise some zombies and try to kill some heroes in Eratus, Lord of the Dead. Whoa, almost clicked that. I need to, you, 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 need, you need to be way the fuck over here. I just realized that. That would have been unfortunate. <laughs> All right. Don't have two stop buttons near each other. And remember, kids, boat.linuxgamecast.com. You Boat too shit. can participate in shenanigans. Boat. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give on two weeds a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Coming in first place, Mr. Alert, Course for Christ, followed course by North for Ranger. Christ. Furry Unleashed, third place, Weapons, great. Snark, baby. You know what, Mike? Boom. Look at that. Uh, panty Facts. Yeah, I'll, I'll give Panty Facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On two weeds with Scott Zolfo. Ah, uh, like the Atomic Ass with the shark. <laughs> it's going to be Course for Christ. <laughs> course for Christ. <laughs> You, no, you gotta change Jesus' head to Nick Cage. There is uh, the one thing. Oh, yeah. Make sure it's uh, 1080p resolution, full scale, not upscale bullshit. Hashtag ramen. Or, or the 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 other one be like you take you take uh, Michelangelo's creation of Adam. You put like. Nicholas Cage on God's head and like a chimera of us three getting handed a, like a risin or something. <laughs> I like the holding of the thread rippers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dude. Speaking of that, I mean, I just noticed that is why are the new thread ripper? Why, why, why isn't there like a aspirationally affordable one? Because fuck you, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I mean, th there's like fuck you because that's why Mobos that are in the $800. But the basic bitch is $1,300. No. <laughs> well, if, if as you say, they are for workstations, people buying them can afford it. Well, now they are. They I mean the entire first and second gen were marketed. I mean, the, I. I have like 11 types of RGB bullshit on this motherboard, but like, it's for gaming, you guys. Like, no, it's not. It's not good at that. <laughs> Hex. Hexo Skelly, thanks for hey. the follow. <laughs> Pedro can read and eat a banana, you multitasking fool. <laughs> <laughs> also, that alert works. I, we're testing things today. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if I try to add a VLC video source, it crashes the desktop. Oh. Yeah, I'm not ready <laughs> to get anytime soon then. No, don't. I don't suggest it. <laughs> Fortunately, I found that out like a full eight minutes before I called you guys. <laughs> and the, the damn thing about it was I had to cheese my way around it because I had to add the um, game video. Oh, the game, man. <laughs> so I was like, well, shit, can I... Because as soon as I click the button, it would just start to open, you know, the selection. But then to the desktop. So I had to do that three or four times before I figured out what the default directory it was looking into so I could move the file in there. Then name it to the old one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all going to be called a uh, game that I'm 4V going forwards. <laughs> it was so pointed towards um like game dot m four v dot game m four something <laughs> dot 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 yeah. r dot exe it got out of hand for a little bit <laughs> dot yeah, dot m two a game dot m four v going it, forward it, it, it had a one after it I remember that <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, speaking of one, I'm going to get one more beer. I'll get another one. Um, what's your naming scheme? Mine's uh, one, one, one. When you need to save something, you need to make sure it's at the top so you don't forget it. Oh, um, I don't really have one of those. Mine used to be like capital. You know, it would be for, you know, I'd name the file normally, like put this where I can find it usually. And so it'll be like whatever scene, whatever, like I just like, or exclamation point. That's either that or one, like four or five. Ex ex exclamation point is the one that I've seen people use mm -hmm. uh, or a carrot. Mm. Toronto uh, doesn't the, have weather. It's frozen or it's a swamp. I mean, it was it was kind of chilly today. I went outside to go buy some eggs. As one does. Yeah, and it was okay. It was, um, what was that? Like 17 ah. today. Oh, it's snowing? In Canada? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, so, hex Hexoskelly, to answer your question, it really comes down to maintainability. Uh, when you're trying to add new shit to bash scripts, um, Sometimes it's not as simple as changing a variable or updating a function. If you're using a module framework like Ansible, it's a little easier to maintain, especially, like I was saying, when you have to maintain hundreds of systems. Bash scripts are good for quick one-off things, but if you need to like run it more than once... I think any consider... time that you find yourself serious, like legitimately debugging a bash script, it's time to change. Yeah, it's time. It's... Yeah. Yeah. The, the, Bash is a good Swiss Army knife, but you're not going to try and cut down a tree with a little Swiss Army saw, right? You want to use the right tool for the job. No offense to Swiss Army saws. <laughs> they probably exist, man. No, 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 no. Full offense to Swiss Army saw saws. Come at me, Swiss Army saw. You sawsist. <laughs> you, you sawsist. Frozen eggs, man. Oh. Frozen eggs, like on a stick, like an egg lollipop. <laughs> what? It's, it's a is that, is that Intel CPU. Are you going to give it to Christ? Course for Christ, <laughs> baby. Course for Christ! Four whole cores. <laughs> I could probably look up the people that... Uh, oh, shit, man. I, fuck. I'm sitting here. We can make a jingle. Like an audio course jingle. Course for Christ. <laughs> yeah. Course for Christ. Does Don't whatever a course for Christ does. <laughs> We just gotta see. That's the problem. We come up with like something highly malicious, like, "Oh, what's your evil plan?" Not really. It's just a joke. <laughs> it was a gag uh, for uh, a podcast. Uh, <laughs> a menu written in Bash. Oh God, that comes from directly from the Atomic Acid yeah. Zone um, GitLab. All right. <laughs> well, you, you see, man, I need a debugger in Bash. <laughs> That's called bash dash X. Nah, <laughs> baby. I want a GUI. Is there a widget? No. I think that's called Zenity. <laughs> I have no illusions. Anything I fucking say is probably going to exist, man. That, that... Right, but again, Hexoskelly, I'm talking about maintainability. When you need to make changes, not when you've written a script for that works for that one version of Debian. And only that one version of Debian. See, Jordan's focused on... What's... It? going to work for him. He's not coming at it from... Well, I mean, you're also looking towards, like, future maintainability. I am, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not It's not just, haha, that works for me. I'm just thinking, If like, the platform I... itself changes, then can the thing still run with minimal work? Yeah, baby. I yeah. can see that. It's called Java. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, not 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 lately, baby. Not lately. Oh boy, they've 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 changed their memory management. They've they've done a bunch of shit that makes running it on new versions kind of sketchy. Good. Don't. I mean, Java's if they if they would break some like hard cut some legacy shit. Java is not a bad thing. It's just yeah. Uh, yeah if yeah. you cut a bunch of legacy shit, um. Legacy shit? Legacy. Sure. Let's Le go with that. Legacy. <laughs> Calm like, down, from... Connery. You've been in the UK. I, you, I thought you were in Britannia, not Scotland. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, uh, I, 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 lear I learned what something. What are you talking about? <laughs> Appar apparently, we've been pr pronouncing Bella Lugosi's name wrong the entire time. It is actually Lugosi. Whatever. 
it's too late. I mean, it's like it's like Doctor Seuss isn't Doctor Seuss; it's Doctor Seuss. But yeah, if you cut, I could make uh, shit up too, man. Legacies, uh, <laughs> no, legacy no, you, shit you can you can look that one up. I know. Java. All right, let me get what your... happens to Minecraft. You can just use the .NET version. <laughs> On Linux? <laughs> you can just use the .NET version. .NET is open source core now. <laughs> okay, uh, get Microsoft to port uh, Minecraft.NET to .NET Core, please. <laughs> okay, give, give me a minute. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I don't know. Having Having dealt with, like literally thousand line bash deployment scripts do it do it in fucking ansible please <laughs> please for the love of god one line per thing that it's doing yeah it's nice <laughs> it's called it's pronounced minicraft actually steve <laughs> minicraft minicraft minecraft sounds like something steve would fucking play though let's be real it's true. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I've I've tried to like get Steve to play games, and he's just apparently anti-fun. <laughs> I'm like, give give it a shot. Like, do one round of this and I tell me know. what you think. Think about it, man. And we have uh, this is like non-evil Steve. Might like um. That's true, baby. Yeah. Baby face Steve. Good Steve. Good Steve might like games. There we go. We can start Course for Christ now with just Mirror's picture. Maybe, like, good Steve won't do unnatural things to Barbies. Yeah. <laughs> well, Scott, or that's use a, that's their a... heads as keychains. Scott, that's also not true. It can, Ansible can be a do stuff on machine thing. Puppet is more defined the state, but Puppet's also a lot more infrastructurally complex. Anyways, we're not here to talk about configuration management. Maybe that should, we should make that podcast, Scott. You and I just bitch about config management for an hour. Do it. I'll record it. <laughs> I'll go for it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just sit back and not talk until I do, randomly. Mm. It'd be great. It'd be magic. We need to donate Mir to Christ. <laughs> Pyres. We're, we're, we're gonna Viking these ships, baby. We're gonna heat them up. We're gonna send them to Chapala. I thought we were gonna send them to Chipotle. What's your problem? Them you keep Chipotle. on sending things to Chipotle. That's why you have the restraining order, and I don't need to go into that. I just want free burritos, damn you, it. That's not the way to go about it. We've been over it. Well, then tell me how to get free burritos. I will not. You will tell me, or I'll keep sending CPUs to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can stop this, Ven. Oh, man. Uh, I think everything's together. All right, let's try this. Long. You're, you're going you're going last this time yeah okay i'm i'm just you guys got a lot more to say fair then, yeah all right just 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 checking just be fair <laughs> to the game uh, kicking it off in three two Welcome back to the chair position where the accused must survive trial by Fedoras, Neon, and Deblin. That time in this exact order. Uh, then, and only then, the question will be asked, is it fun? Uh, this week we're taking a look at Eretus, Lord of the Dead. Unfortunately, I wanted to play Eretus, Lord of the Dance, but they haven't made that one yet. Nope. Uh, it's see. developed by Unfrozen, uh, done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 30 bucks. What is it? Eretus, Lord of the Dead, is a turn-based tactical roguelike RPG set in a dark fantasy universe. Lead an army of undead to help an angry necromancer in his crest to reach the surface world and bring death to the mortal question. realms uh, is yep. there such a thing you know more about the fantasy world is there a happy necromancer like oh hey, absolutely man. okay absolutely there's like a a necromancer you'd want to like go over to his house and play like sonic the hedgehog with oh dude because he gets <laughs> the skeletons to like make snacks and bring them to you it's right great on. okay just joking like ima imagine if frank was useful and did stuff for you frank's still social distancing because he's being a bitch 
See, ima imagine, <laughs> imagine if you had a non-bitchy skeleton. That would be great. Um, Tell me more about this fantasy world that you've constructed. <laughs> I, I I will, but maybe maybe not right now. We got to talk about Aratus. Fair. Um, yeah. So uh, the dev did send us one key. Pedro went and done bought the other two for Pedro for Pedro and Ben and mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> yes. There, there there was another Pedro involved. Don't worry yes. about it. Don't don't ask too many questions. Um, so I guess this week I'm I'm starting it us off. So on Fedora 32 64 bit, I was you know I was expecting after the F32 upgrade there'd be some. Uh, janky bullshit but there was none to be had um everything looks and plays fine keyboard works mouse works the game looks fine uh, i didn't run in into any technical issues so it gets full marks there fun wise all right new new rule to the drinking game every time someone mentions darkest dungeon take a shot you will die by the end of this um so yeah you're playing for the other side but the game doesn't really do too much to differentiate itself the infinite map thing is sort of neat because it can leave you wondering what was sort of on the next uh what uh, what other neat things you would have found if you went on the next other fork instead of what path you went through uh the combat itself is pretty solid darkest dungeon and i mean that's good enough for me i sunk about two hours into this game i'm like oh it's been about two hours i guess the combat's all right uh it's pretty <laughs> solid um it is i will say it is nice to be inflicting sanity instead of having to manage it although i gotta say the insane this insane enemies in this game do not do the insane crazy shit that darkest dungeon they insane don't do people much do, do they? they're like oh. Insane. And like that 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 is what really screws you over in Darkest Dungeon. Um But yeah, uh the other the other thing that I kind of that's kind of the game loses points for is the unman undead management stuff is really weak. I mean, yeah, you can boost their stats, but aside from aside from like the arrangement, there's not really a lot of variety in ability spread. You can't like have different enemies that are good at di or different types of enemies that are good at different things. You all just have like wh whether or not their ability is leveled up and their stats that are different. But really, you just want to pump attack armor and evasion so that you do as much damage as possible. Um, Pedro, I saw your thing about uh, doing sanity. I found that mm -hmm. like sanity is subject to a lot less damage restriction, and if you can get if you can get them to zero sanity and then hit them like with anything, they just die instantly. So. It, it's it's just another way of like managing tougher enemies that okay that okay now i know what happened yep okay um, that saved my ass yeah <laughs> yeah um but yeah like the 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 undead like they're they're kind of different but there's a lot of overlap and you got to jump through hoops to unlock them i really feel that like darkest dungeon gives give you a little bit more meat with the player customization and they they sort of add in a, another layer in the sense that you're playing Eratus, who can affect things outside of the main combat system by like casting spells and moving stuff around. But I really never felt like that was that big of a change. And I found I wasn't really using the powers or spells all that much. Maybe they're more critical in the later yeah. game, but at least in the early game, not not much. I'm gonna give it three chairs. It's solid if you want like more Darkest Dungeon combat, but I feel there's a lot of wasted potential here. They could have done something special, but instead they did something mediocre. Yeah, that that was kind of my takeaway. But you know, you know, just on the technical side, uh, over here on KDE Neon with the Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080, Unity actually got the 144 hertz right, except for that blinky shit that you saw happen just now. That uh, and you can still see it on screen right there uh, is vision. the one. It's the one technical issue I had with this game, and it only manifests itself while I was recording. So most of you out there, it probably won't be an issue because you won't have uh, OBS open recording the game window while you're playing it. So speak for yeah, yourself. That, <laughs> for most of you watching, not most of you, uh, you know, currently on, on the um, show right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, fine. Drill yeah. it down. No, I've got to be technically correct. <laughs> All right. It is, like Jordan already said, it is Reverse Darkest Dungeon. You're playing as the undead, and you're the one causing stress damage and causing the enemies to go crazy. Unfortunately, like Jordan also mentioned, it's not... Um, you, you don't have, like, the enemy characters going crazy and hurting each other or th leveraging insults at each other and causing more stress damage to each other. No, 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 no. Basically, the winning strategy here is uh, create a party of damage dealers and kill everybody. That, that's it. 
<laughs> and it's very effective. Uh, maybe it's the kind of playstyle that I prefer in games, but yeah, the stress mechanic for me, as much as I tried, it it just seemed not very useful when, you know, dealing damage seems to be a lot more effective because it gets rid of the opponents as quickly as possible. And, um... The, the way that you level up, besides, you know, you can level up Iratus, you can improve one of Iratus' abilities or something to improve, like, the crafting of the undead, and if, you know, you're going to take my advice on anything, it's like, focus on the crafting of the undead first, since the undead are the ones doing the bulk of the work, and, yeah, Iratus just casts a spell here and there, maybe does an ability here and there, but... It's the undead that are taking the hits, and they're the ones that you have to manage, so... I would say... Focus on those and ignore everything else because it seems a bit pointless, and, um... To sort of reinforce that, you also have the buildings that you can get, like... On your darkest dungeon style of thing, you go into town and you have the buildings. Like, you have the tavern to heal, like, the stress-related issues. You have all the other buildings that serve their own purpose, like hiring uh, new people, doing whatever. Here, you actually have to sacrifice one of your dudes that you've crafted or created or found in one of the levels to create oh. that building from the ground oh, up. Oh, 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 buddy. I lost a level 7 death knight because of that. Yeah. Oh, that, that, was, so, that was bad before I figured that out. Yeah, no, you actually have to sacrifice one of them to get the building started. And if you want to level up the building, you then have to sacrifice another. So, yeah, no, the undead are the focus here. And as long as you focus on them and you buff them and make sure that Iratus is basically focusing on its army rather than himself, yeah, then uh, you might have a better time. Uh, you know, assuming sure. this is your kind of game, because if I wanted to play Darkest Dungeon, I'd be playing Darkest Dungeon, so I'll give it two chairs. And finally, uh, it's not my gem, but let's talk about how it ran on the Threadripper 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM, NVMe drives, 2060, displayed at UHD. Solid, solid, solid. These are some good things. This is what I like. Um, just very competently done. You know, it launched full screen. Everything was humming along right out of the box. 60 at 2160p. I popped it in 1080p window. Received the same. Technically, nice piece of work. I enjoy that. Now, let's talk about fun because, well, we get to talk about the itis. And uh, I shall once again play the avatar of the audience member who really wants to like these games, man. I mean, I go into like Darkest Dungeons, Dicey Dungeons, anything that ends with Dungeons, usually it's this. Um, but I never do. This one, this one kind of caught me off guard because it opens up with nothing short of a legitimate warning that, well, warns you uh, uh, about the many ways that this game will melt all of your face and your fingers and all your other extremities. With this extreme turbo difficulty, you have been warned you're going to get skull fucked constantly and you, you know what you're in for. Immediately followed by another screen that lets you put it in like Turbo easy mode. Don't hurt me, mommy. It's like, it, that kind of sucks some of that effect out. And I was like, because of course I went to, like, I actually upped it from easy mode because it was too boring in that. Um, it is what it is. You know, I went last this time because I don't have a lot to say. For me, you boop things, you wait, you boop them again, then you get killed by RNG. This is what I get out of all of these games. I always go in, like, maybe there's going to be something more. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at with this, you know, now instead of like recruiting, like you were doing in darkest dungeons, you craft new characters. Did I get that right? That's effectively what you're yeah. doing. Cause you get yep. like brains, <laughs> potions, armors, and you can build like your knights and you know, the useless banshee that like, why is that there? If you can spread insanity <laughs> has no attack, like physical damage whatsoever. Um, which is with a bunch of knights and that's different, which, you know, that, that was fun for a second. You can do enhancements and stuff in the little crafting menu. It's reasonably straightforward. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the game, if you're watching the video, there's a stack of stats and all that business. If that's your bag, it's not. 
art and sound. I'm going to say this. Uh, am I wrong when I say I think it looks, is it more of a style choice or is this just graphically better than Darkest Dungeons? Well, Darkest Dungeon is like a lot of hand-drawn art and it's meant to like... This has clearly been drawn with feet. I mean, this, this, <laughs> well, um, I don't, I don't know. This seems a lot more it's like digital, digital painty. Art. Yeah. <laughs> I like the look of it. Everything's well done. Uh, from what I played, it seems like you're basically fighting the same groups of people with the occasional uh, new one thrown in. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you've been looking for a game of this type, to get into, um, I'm just going to tell you, and maybe you've played Darkest Dungeons, because the biggest difference between this and Darkest Dungeons, at least for me, is like the $5 price difference. Uh, I couldn't <laughs> really tell you. I, I'd i like to get into it, but the second we start getting into spreadsheets, which I know that's the gem for Pedro, I know that's the gem for a lot of you at home, along with Jordan. It's, it's got to be simple, man, because I, if I got to pick one, I'm going to pick with Dicey Dungeons. It's simple enough for... Then smash button, then occasionally win. So, um, not on any technical merit whatsoever. I think technically the game is fine. Mechanically, according to Jordan and Pedro, it's balanced and it's kind of an interesting take. I got to give them that where you get to play the baddies finally. But yeah, just if you're me, stay away. You're not going to have a good time with it. Well, Did, was I fair? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom wasn't but fair either, but we're, we're, not we're, 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 about we're, that. we're not we're not Fox News. We don't have to be fair and balanced. Um, all right, coming up next, we debug more RSS problems because this is a recurring segment in the hate mail. What is what is wrong with our RSS setup? And we talk about Mapples. Schmapples, Flapple, which is a Pokemon. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even argue that shit, you know? I'm like, probably. <laughs> Random string of words that sort of sounds like a, a word of its own. Could be a Pokemon. Uh, uh. Let's see, did we get any um, forward progression? Oh, it looks like course. Oh, no, but it's tied. Weapon's a great start. <laughs> on two weeks. There was another Pedro involved. <laughs> Come on, chorus for Christ. <laughs> Spin me right round, baby, like a fidget spinner. Right, right. round. One, two, three, four. Well, My so food can't touch. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say, kids these days don't know what a record is, but that's not true anymore. Thank you, hipsters. <laughs> I don't think records ever get a proper chance to... for a generation to go, kids don't do what record. They've just always kind of fucking been there, even when I was a kid. And I had, you know tape, the, the, and we had CDs, and but you know, what if I, you know somebody had a record, or shit was still being released on vinyl, except for like ten minutes in the late nineties, possibly. I like I my my dad had a record collection that I wasn't allowed to touch because he rightly assumed I just smashed the records. How do you smash vinyl records unless you have like the old plate <laughs> ones that you could drop? You can fan yourself with vinyl. <laughs> I was allowed to... Um, Jordan finds touch... a way to break things. <laughs> I was allowed to touch the uh, actual uh, records themselves, but I wasn't allowed to touch the uh, needle arm on the uh, player because apparently uh, when I was really, really young, I broke three of them and they weren't very cheap. <laughs> I have more laser discs than I have records. I don't own a single laser disc or a record. No. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I will lord over you with my three laser discs then. As a Atomic <laughs> ass, are they all the Breakfast Club soundtrack? Don't oh, my mom you had the entire uh, vinyl. Me. Pink Floyd, uh, all of the albums that they released in vinyl, 
she had them. <laughs> um, what do I have on vinyl? I have some deep purple. I have some Zeppelin, bad company. Yeah. Oh, and my dad had the Queen. It's like the. It was like my mom with Pink Floyd and my dad with Queen. <laughs> I know I have Queen. I have the wall <laughs> on vinyl. That double-sided thing. I think the wall was four records. Yeah, mine's two. I might only have part of the wall. My mom's was two, yeah. <laughs> Records are the big black CDs, Jordan. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking because my CD copy of the wall is on two CDs. Usually, usually it breaks down to about two records a CD sometimes. You flip them around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, 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 I think it does depend on when the record was pressed, too. Yeah, if it's on a Wednesday. <laughs> oh, no, because, like, a lot of on Wednesdays. <laughs> no, like, because a lot of old records only have, like, four tracks on a side, right? Those are the teeny tiny little eight inch ones. 76s? No, I think I've yeah, some Alice I'm, Cooper. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to argue this. I don't know shit about records. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I had um, two records, like, two CDs. <laughs> Ooh. Two uh -huh. records, two CDs. All right. <laughs> What's that in eight tracks? Twelve. I have the stairway to have an eight track orange. I don't. I have no idea if it works, but. That's one thing they should never come back watch it. track watch it oh yeah that one dude made bank the one guy who maintained the uh, machinery and stuff to do regular cassette tapes of like not bottom bargain basement stuff he still had like one of the few machines that were still around mm. kids walking around hip. yeah for the hipsters the who cassette want to... tapes, yeah bands are like hey we'd like to get that on cassette and like, where do you go to? And he's like, guess me. I'm it. Please be kind. Rewind. And and you can charge extra because it's like you do realize that in 2020 this is a luxury. Oh, thanks. So people I'm want charging the, you extra people want for the that. physical medium. <laughs> they, they want the record and the tape that they'll never open. Yep. <laughs> Some people like collecting stuff. I don't know, Scott, why don't you tell me what the poets are doing first? Canada jokes. This, uh, loaded up. old DVDs that have the please be kind. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta buy a DVD rewinder. <laughs> Most DVD players won't rewind your DVD, so you gotta buy a separate piece of I, I was it. more upset when I tried to order that on ThinkGeek, because it was like, yes, this is going to someone. I had the person in mind, too. This is good. No, this, this will be featured prominently in the set decoration. <laughs> Aw. Boo. You got me. Damn it. Um, highway girl. Mm. Highway girl rants. See, here's the thing. Did you ever get to experience um, going to a video store, Jordan? Like renting the video game? Like a like a blockbuster? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. You you I used to I used to rent consoles, right? Like you could you could get like a PlayStation or an N sixty four for the weekend. I think that weekend. was the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. That's gone. Oh yeah. Like scorched earth, unless there's a like a retro gaming place that rent. I doubt they would. Uh there there might be some, uh, but most of the times, like it's probably worth it worth more for the store to like sell it. We think like at the yeah. hassle of like RCA and coaxial. Yeah. What comes? Yeah, that used to be a whole thing, man. We'd pop over to a video store and like, ooh, you had to make the selection. It's 
It's game well, there was that uh, Gamefly thing for a while too, right? Yeah. It was like Netflix, OG Netflix for games. That's uh, I don't know how that never took off, man. <laughs> like renting the internet was worse than it is now. <laughs> That's what I can. I mean, that just had to have been like horrible marketing and mismanagement. I remember seeing ads for it everywhere, so it must have been hmm. mismanagement. Or people were just keeping. Oh, you know, you know, you know, it was also happening. Was people were like, um, they had modded consoles. They would rent the games, cop, make local copies, send them back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they probably had a higher instance of um, people sending back the wrong game. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh yeah, that game I'm not playing anymore. Let's put that in this box. It's that there. used to be an issue with <laughs> cartridges too. People would swap out. In terms of that was an issue with Super Nintendo because I remember renting Star Fox and uh, getting Street Fighter. <laughs> Somebody really wanted the Star Fox. Uh, oh yeah, let's put Torx screws so people can't, you know, most people can't open the cartridges. Um, flat-headed precision screwdriver? <coughs> oh, look! <laughs> I just went and robbed some from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, kids, steal from your parents. LGC cares. I'm telling you. I mean, it, it was a pretty inefficient theft, considering it was a, in the same house, but... Uh, acquisitions, steal from your parents, kids! And then your parents roll over to your bed and was like, so, where's my thing? And you go, oh, yeah, thing. <laughs> Wasn't that nicer of me than breaking your shit? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm sure they had some proprietary name there, Mr. Alert, but they had like the many, many sides. I like, just call them security too. bits, man. I have <laughs> like an entire hard. row of bullshit security bits. I don't have one for Apple because Apple's got an extra special Apple-y <laughs> fuck you button. Pentalobes. <laughs> Yeah, this this they're they're not security screws. They're fuck. Now I gotta wait for a new screw. Uh, I thought you were gonna say they were today. fuck nuggets. I'm like, also yes. <laughs> no, they're fu they're fuck nuts. <laughs> no, they're it, it's it's oh now I gotta wait for Amazon to deliver me a new screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, no, you can still open them with a flat bladed screwdriver. <laughs> That's how I got through most of them. <laughs> Inverted tor- I don't know. The moral of the story is, I mean, if a child wants to get into something, that's not gonna stop. Yeah. No. Got a lot of free time. You, you can MacGyver your way into most things. Apparently this is what Jiffy thinks inverted torques are. Yeah, it's Baffa Man. So, All right. Sounds about right. <laughs> you see, I feel that we've failed here at Chips for Christ. Um, of course, for Christ. That's a wholly owned subsidiary of um, Chips Sh for Christ. Sh Sh Chips for Christ is just like throwing bags of Doritos at Jesus. No, dude. We, yeah, we, no. The uh, cheap screwdriver set from um, Amazon. Express. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was uh, 10 pounds and it comes with 56 bits including the security torques and the torques doesn't does come that with any have, of the does Apple have, ones is that like one of those uh, flex stems in the middle uh, it does that thing's useless as shit isn't it yep I that's have never used it that's a false hope stick right there like, <laughs> oh. you, 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 know, you know what I used it for you know, you know, you know when you like take office supplies and you like make little fighter planes out of them and you play around with them because they're bored. That's what I use that for. <laughs> and it's got a bunch of Intel stickers on the inside. Oh, and Windows dun, 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 stickers dun, dun, dun. from all the laptops I've taken them from. <laughs> yeah, I get uh, something I used uh, it was one I just got off AliExpress it's like a little driver bit but it's small that's why I keep it around everything else you can fix with a hammer or um <laughs> a flat headed hammer usually it works better than the Phillips make sure it's metric though mm -hmm. I don't have any screwdrivers all I have is old wireless routers 
Oh, do you have like the inner? Oh no, too many ports. <laughs> yeah, no, it's got too many ports on the back. <laughs> if it was a four port one, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 baby. I have the internet router, the one with one in and one out. Oh, it is yeah. the four port one. All right. It is. Yeah, that's I, new. I, that's I, advanced. I, I, I that's not the first gen. It's not, it's not the first gen. That's the, the ubiquitous one. That's the one that's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. It only, it, only, it only does wireless G, though. Yeah. <laughs> 2.4 gigahertz. This one, this one also is only on 2.4, but it does wireless on. It's set up as a repeater yeah. now. Actually, no, it's set up as a wireless bridge. That was my, that, I used it as an experiment for back when I was on Wi-Fi. Didn't work. <laughs> I tried, though. There's mine. Yay. I also have... Mine's a little different, though. A literal. <laughs> this, this is the first really consumer router that you could buy. I think I paid 100 pounds for this. And uh, yeah, one in, one out. <laughs> OG, link sys, baby. Yep. Bucker probably still works. But I don't probably. have, have a uh, plug with American pluggy things on it. American pluggy thing, stay away from me. <laughs> American pluggy thing, why won't you let me power on my switch? Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bring out such advanced technical term. See, that, that, the router's gone yeah, too far. that's got four antennas, man. That, <laughs> that looks like it's going to take off and when, start yeah, shooting When they start looking me. like starships, I'm like, you know what? That's just, no. No. No, let's not say we did. Yeah, You can say what you want about 244. You know what? You can use that outside of the room the router's in. <laughs> You legitimately don't have to leave a door open <laughs> for the fucking signal to come through. You're welcome. It's 5G, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I gotta load up the. Um, I gotta load up. You the also got an ARM Track Five. Been armed the whole time. Good. My boss. Um, <clears throat> damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Uh, wait, no. A, B, C, D. There Purple. It is. Too late, found it. <laughs> Win WRT. Nope, I don't have anything with them. I'm. Nope. I need to get one because, um, yeah. <laughs> this, well, well. uh, I can just set the, uh, virgin router to go into modem mode and, uh, just have an actual router in front of it because I, 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 I'm, I'm, in, I'm in, I, then, then I'm suffering your pain. I'm in DMZ light mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best mode, a real pimp. <laughs> Light. The favorite thing, actually going to DSL reports and going to your carriers, um, there are some involved bullshit threads for bypassing the modems. Yep. I'm like, who has this kind of time? So solder this serial pin onto the thing no, so you no, can no, get no. mini access. This, this is like m more... The ingenuity than that. This is not hardware hacks. This is tricking it to give devices the incorrect lease, maintaining it, and dump it. Like, wow. Okay. And it's updated, too. This is what people do. I'm like, really? Well, is it that important? I mean, at the same time, if these ISPs would just fucking give me a modem mm -hmm. that I could plug into a switch or a router, I'll be fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Swap me. DDWRT. I think the last thing I put on a router was a uh, tomato. I I usually go with the uh, open to open works. Mm. I'm running router os now. Days. <laughs> That's my life. Route os. Route os. 
It's, uh, Connecting the direct to the ONT is pretty good. Um, this version ONT, it just goes, uh, nope, not accepting any direct connections unless uh, it's coming from the uh, version hub itself. You know, to its credit, though, it's only three menus deep to set up a DNS NAND for one port. <laughs> well, one protocol of one port. You got to do it all again if you want to do like UDP and TCP. Yeah, I can't even change the default DNS server on the router itself. Mm. <laughs> I have to set it per device. <laughs> <laughs> that's one. That's one thing I don't like about like charter, the charter modem that they, they give you. Like here, use this. Like, but it. What's this third DNS thing that keeps showing up? Well, it's our DNS, and you can use that. Like, I don't want that. Can I yeah, that? can't bypass that. <laughs> it's like watch this. Boom, by modem. <laughs> All right. Um, that's cool looking, but that looks like. Mm. Those are some chonky antennas. Yeah. That means they probably work, though. That's an orange capo. Hmm. Bold, bold choice. Says a lot. <laughs> it's closed up. In three, two. It's the end, and chances are something about this episode left a sour taste in your mouth. It may be a brain tumor, or it could be Linux Gamecast Weekly. I we don't, don't know. know. All I'm saying is my Lynx <laughs> just doesn't look like something's had its way with the back end of it. <laughs> I, have, I, have a, I have a Lynx shaped tumor in my brain. Yeah, you need to see a doctor if that's the case. But hey, Doctor Linksus, <laughs> two holes. If you don't have uh, Doctor Linksus hanging around your brain, you can uh, maybe go to linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button, and uh, send us some of your hate mail. Uh, this we're thing's open 10, to yeah, well, at least it does a hundred. So yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it. If you're a game developer, there is a one of the bits of bold text is directed at you. Please include three keys or something that we can all play, because if we can't all play, we're just going to mock you. The same goes for Kickstarters, obviously. Depending on how this one guy gets back to me <laughs> after being spandertized, uh, we, we had a discussion about that in the pre-pre-super shows, and I probably will be featuring one of those emails uh, yeah. next week. So stay tuned. It's been a while since we've deconstructed um, an advertising pitch. But coming up first is from Jim. Jim says, hey, man, I've added a number of podcast RSS feeds to, are we going to go with Volumo? Volumo? Volumio. Volumio. Actually, it's a plug-in to Vol... What? All right, whatever. That's Volumio. A, same thing. <laughs> Uh, works fine. I tried to add yours, which would be all of our RSS feeds, all both of them. Um, but it comes up saying there's an error parsing it, so I, could, uh, I didn't compare destination Linux RSS feeds to yours. Maybe that might help to see what's different between yours and theirs. Whatever it is, uh, it's a bit less stable than... Oh, okay, Noah said give it a try, but it's less stable than I'd like, but sometimes it works. Hey, man, that's a little <laughs> close to home. Um... <laughs> Anyway. Oh, KD level. Okay, all right. <laughs> What's different about your feed structure? And there's. Is it possible to make it work with Volmio? Volumo? Volumo. <laughs> Volumio. <laughs> Mio. Mio. Uh, I did write him back, but uh, Pandora, Apple, Google, FeedBurner, um... Sailfish OS! Sailfish! <laughs> uh, all the other ones, it validates against RSS feed, including the W3C RSS feed validation service. So, the only thing I could think is, um, especially if you're hitting it later in the week, you're going to be hitting Cloudflare. Mm. And I do know I have Cloudflare set to ignore if you um, send a request with a blank field on your OS. 
you don't have a OS to find. Okay. <laughs> that was also the issue with Sailfish. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So if that, that might be the thing, but yeah, there's nothing, uh, to be very, there's nothing I'm willing to change for a program that kind of works <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, for that one bit of yeah. software that seems to crash a lot. <laughs> We're good. But thanks for listening to the show. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Jordan, what have we lost you to live on the show as we're recording? Absolutely nothing. I'm just staring at the notes and paying attention. How dare you? That's why you're so out of place. We're doing none of those yeah, things. Yeah. You don't pay attention ever. <laughs> what? I wasn't paying you just attention. talk. Yeah. You interrupt everyone. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you take the next one, Jordan? <laughs> All right. The next one is from, I actually just closed it. Ah. Uh, no, it's from, it's from Cody. Uh, so he's, Busted. he's, uh, no, uh, he's talking about, um, to be honest, Apple stopped being good when they removed color from the logo and went with the boring silver Apple logo. They will eventually remove everything until their proprietary API is the only thing you're allowed to use. I'm glad Valve went, nope, before this happened, rip open gold max support BT dubs. Um, was this was this about one of the conversations we were having in the in between segments? No, this was or... that story that we spent about four minutes on last week when uh, steam dropping. Uh, oh, with VR the with the VR, yeah. right, yeah. right, VR on Mac. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I almost <laughs> forgot about it, just like Apple did. Hey, oh, um, I, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I as I think the one person here who has to routinely use Apple products, but yeah, you love it, kind of, man. You're like this is awesome. Kind of I'm sucks. Just gonna plug a monitor into it and uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't have six thousand dollars for the monitor and the stand. <laughs> you got to save up for the wheels, man. Don't blow your money. Those wheels yes. are like four hundred bucks. What is? Oh, yes. look at you with your nineteen ninety eight MacBook. Yo. So much oh, aluminium. It's a 2013 MacBook. Thank you very much. <laughs> this was a 2015. Oh, thank you very much. No, but like, yeah, I mean, a Apple is becoming less and less developer friendly. Um, I tried to update Xcode this week. That was fun. That's Why? Okay. <laughs> You're out of space. Uh, no, I'm not. No. Well, I, oh, I, I needed. I needed. I needed to update everything that you've ever had on your SSD at any one point. It's like, can you get rid of that, please? I, need, I needed to update Xcode because homebrew <laughs> builds were failing. And I'm like, man, this is the thing that actually gives you the BSD utilities. You know, the useful software that you can run on your yeah. Macintosh. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so as 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 for as for Apple on VR, like I said, I think we were all frankly surprised that like anyone was trying to make that work. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I genuinely... I'm, I'm coming from the thing, like, I was definitely saying... A, I good on you for having that kind of money to burn. Um, but B, just trying it because that's right up there. That's only slightly less difficult than getting it set up on Linux, I would imagine. Well, it's slightly less expensive setting it up on Linux because you don't have to pay yeah, the price of the computer and the pay, head yeah. headset <laughs> for just the computer that can run the headset. Could and then you have to buy Could. the headset on top of that. Could run the headset. Yeah, I mean, o I mean, op OpenGL Mac support lives because you can now run um, OpenGL and Vulkan on Metal. So you can run OpenGL implemented in Vulkan mm -hmm. implemented on Metal. You guys so can all just work. run Metal. That'll work. We're Apple. That that's how we do. What, 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 what's that? I can't hear you over the sound of my iPhone App Store sales. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, in this brave new world, and on that brave new bombshell. Um, we gotta cue the music. <clears throat> Coming soon to iPad OS. Just one episode. <laughs> Good I night, want, ladies and I, gentlemen. I, I didn't want you to bring up an iPad, but fucking there it was, man. <laughs> if you want to get in touch with me, um, I'm Vin Stone, at Vin Stone on Twitter, uh, at Vin on mass .com. I'm there, I'll say things, and it'll be kind of brilliant. I am the world's biggest Apple fan. You can find me on Twitter on AppleFan42069XX. No, I'm, I'm Jordan. You can find me on Twitter at the Burning Fool or on Discord vaguely sometimes. Maybe, I don't know, at Projo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. And I am at unaccounted4, that's F-O-U-R, on Twitter. Or if you want to find me on Discord, it's unaccounted4 with the upside down T, uh, hashtag 0123. 
Yes, I got that number. That's ahead. right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> iPad lover sixty nine at mass dot Linux for some credits. Go fuck yourself. I love I love sixty nine at linuxgamecast.com. We need to set that up as a mail address. <laughs> I love sixty nine. I love sixty nine at linuxgamecast.com. I lo- oh, at linuxgamecast.com actually. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta thank we our Patreon. Like, first. <laughs> yeah, uh, Hap- Haplo's giving us way too much money a month. Uh, we got Artharin, <laughs> The Atomic Ass, Empty, Mike G, Bob Ramps, Aldius, Magik, Scoots, and Frostclaw, and Drummer, and Lutris, and hey, Libre Frosty. Quest. Frosty, Libre you want to do a show? <laughs> Send me Frosty, a demo the reel, Claw baby. Man. Yeah. Uh, we also got to thank our producers like Divida, Special G, Michael, Egal, Top Call, Gaius, Baltar, other, other Strider, Max, Yabo, Stonyfish, Kresge, Che, Nubbin. Mr. Alert, Nicole. Michael, N, Brad S, Odin, Massimoni, Dan W, Nubin, Dan D, D, G, twice. Linux Noob, Joe Angel, Oh, I'm surprised you could put your iPad down long enough to look at Gonzo 2000, Jupiter Broadcasting, Mike, Renaud, Lutris again, Renee, Oh, Bram, <laughs> Rock, <laughs> Christoph Three, Christian, Linux Guru, Abstraction, Dust Geek, and the our newest Patreon, JT. Dogger. Yes, but not Art? that Dogger. D- not dogger. that Dodger. No, <laughs> but it's the old Dodger. <laughs> the Artful Hi. Dodger. Good night. <laughs> it's best Dodger, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Such doge, man. That doge, that, that burnt bright and burnt short. Did it? It's still That's- going. Still around, yeah. Yeah, whatever grabs. <laughs> Back in my day, we had Shiba Inus that we ate instead of food because... I don't even know where I'm going with that. <laughs> because it's Japan and it's Dude, weird. I was already dialing up the children's book publisher. Come on, keep going. We gotta get this made. But one time there was one Shiba Inu who decided that he was it going was to flip more the script. delicious than the rest. And then he ate me, and I never survived. But I'm here to tell and you I this am his story. Ghost. Yes. Because I but was I reincarnated. Again, but Calm man. down, because, Doji Winks. We don't because your... this is because this is secretly an Isekai that I've just been <laughs> dicking you around about. <laughs> that time I was reincarnated as a Shiba poop. Oh, Shiba Senpai. <laughs> I never had one of those. Do- we didn't. Uh, let's see. We had a Chow Chow. Chows also are nice. very fluffy. <laughs> Don't they're, shed. They're not, 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 not so fluffy. They're more wrinkly. No, they had of... a big lines mean. They also have a lot of loose skin, though. I remember. Uh, I guess if they don't have hair. <laughs> There was a there was a chow on my neighborhood growing up. So, uh, Hopefully it wasn't like my... mange riddled. Your parents were like go play with a nice doggy, mm-hmm. Jordan. Yeah, he's just foaming at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Now with generic, what is this? Industrial mix action. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, fluffy pupper. So it looks like Coors for Christ. Cristo. Coors for Christ? Coors. I'm fucking Craig. <laughs> when Jesus is praying, fucking Craig is slaying all the... Wait. It's been a while since I've... Craig cries. Yeah, well, I know that. I'm trying to remember the lyrics. Yeah, one of those fuckers. <laughs> yep. Very, very fluffy. It's like somebody t- tapes some legs to a cotton swab. <laughs> with, the, with, the, with, their, with their blue tongues. They fucking yep. lay down with their back legs stretched out. Like no joke. The uh, vet uh, at my uh, 
hometown, um, he had one of them. A yard? <laughs> no, one of the chow chows. Uh. <laughs> What's like the origin of that? Chinese? Yeah, they were, uh, they were, um, farm dogs. Hmm. Hey, it would have been like goats or something. But it's like know. stumpy like St. Bernard's. <laughs> <laughs> Also, they're fucking vicious. Appa appa apparently, <laughs> its Chinese name, Song Shi Quan, means puffy lion dog. That registers? Yeah. I, I would have to use the word accurate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, appa apparently they were sled dogs, actually. Okay. Like little, little bitty sleds? No, like big sleds. But yeah, you did you have like one for each foot? <laughs> yeah, it's like dog skates. It's pitch to steer, but come on, man. It's worth it. According to Wikipedia, the Canadian Kennel Club <laughs> registers about 350 chows in Canada a year. You have to register your dogs. Wow. Well, you have to get like a... Yeah, you have to get like a license now. Like a... If you have a... Uh, I don't know, here in the UK, but in Portugal, if you have a dog that's a certain breed or above a certain weight, you have to register it as a potentially dangerous dog. Hmm. Well, do you have to register up dog? Nice try. He thought about it. I mean, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He paused for a second. I almost got you. <laughs> it was either Listen, a legitimate it... pause or the brain going, really? <laughs> you, you, gotta, you gotta try. You always gotta try. Mm -hmm. You gotta try for up dog, man. Yeah. If you if you see your up dog opportunity, then you gotta go for it. According to S4DS4CK, um, old dogs need to be chipped in the UK. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, not just. I mean, sometimes you gotta use like you know um, ruffles, maybe lays. Yeah. Pringles. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta use no, the chips. You gotta go to a pub. I mean, it's a mess. Get him some chips. Yeah. Feed it to the dog, and there you go. My dog is now chipped. <laughs> or you could go to Chippendales and get him chipped there. That is the weirdest Disney theme bar I've ever been to. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was expecting cute animals. At least they're all not wearing pants, just like in the cartoon. Yeah, they they didn't have the pants on, but man, last time, man. Don't take a six-year-old there. Bad, bad birthday. Yeah, those are a different type of rescue rangers, let me tell you. Danger rangers. Danger, danger! Mm. High voltage! <laughs> Whatever happened to, like... Like, all of the afternoon Disney thing, that, that entire friend, Disney's like, fuck that noise, we can make cheaper shit. Animations. Disney Channel. <laughs> pretty, pretty much, yeah, like... <laughs> Well, the, 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 like, the, the Disney afternoon shit, like, with the exception of maybe Gargoyles, were all made on a shoestring budget. Like, the animation is super cheap. Oh, man. So, we're gonna light up the after shows, and we're gonna play, uh, like, four rounds of Left for Brad, if you want to get in on that. And we are going to call it a night before this thing catches on fire and melts. All right. Yes. <laughs> In der meanwhile. Oop. I'm going to jump over to the after shows, and which means I need to unmute that. I need to unmute that. I don't even know if Discord's wired in correctly. <laughs> I can kind of hear me. Hang on, let me see. Why isn't working, I, Pedro? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you you were saying it's like I can sort of kind of hear mirror, but no, I can't hear anything. Okay, hang on, I know what it is. Boop. Um, why did I say that? Why did you let me say I know what it is, Pedro? I have an idea that it's probably wrong. Um, I don't know if anyone would know what it is. It would be you. <laughs> It's not that. That's um, the music, yeah. 
Nope, still music. Still the music. <laughs> More music. Mm. Okay, why are you... Whoa, that's playback. What are you recording off of? Jack Source Discord 2. Okay, now this is just traveled into like amusing. Um. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I gotta install a program. <laughs> I need to install KTA. I, I, I need visual representation of whatever nightmare is going on right now. C-A-T-I-A. Um, okay, I see what's wrong. Watch this. Boop, let's disconnect. Oh, it won't let go. Buckle up, kids. <laughs> This will suspend sound processing. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for some reason it's going to one. So let me. <laughs> do I have to do this in the patch bay? Um, expand all. Okay, Discord. Oh, hey, Jordan's here. I gotta pee. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying oh. to decide what level of Russian roulette I'm about to play. Um, capture one. So this should be the... Can I just disconnect this one real quick? You can let me do that? Yes. This will disconnect all... All right, if everything goes real quiet, my bad. Yep. I'm hearing very quiet Discord. Can you still hear me? I can hear you, yeah. I can hear the echoes of Discord. Like very, very fast. Yeah. All right, so that. So that. I'm out there. It won't, it is like permanently attached to, this is the weirdest damn thing, disconnect all. It will not let go. Uh, outdoor or? Uh, Q Jack. It is like, you know what? I can fix this, maybe, but there's going to be some other issues. Hang on, kids. Um, let me change this to one. It took me a minute to get into this one. Uh, same. There, they yeah. should be able to hear us. I, I can hear you perfectly fine. Yeah. There we go. So now we have, uh, yeah, you guys can hear us now. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been able to hear uh -huh. you the entire time. That is going to get delightfully dodgy as hell. But hey, we made it. Um, let me see. Some other things might happen. Let's see. Let me stop that. Let's bring... All right, that's coming through the wrong holes. Yay, holes! So I'm going to move that to two, three. And I'm going to change that. Two, two and three. Pretty bad. Oh, are you guys experiencing some of that sweet, sweet Discord packet loss? 
Yeah. Mm, yeah. And it's issues. delicious. Yeah. All right, P Pedro's back. I'm going to go check on my thing. And more loss on filing an insurance claim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... At least you guys are coming in, Claire, and not being all robotic. It's been transmit. Well, <laughs> it's like, what do I need to do? Can you do 64K? Ah, it's going to be a struggle, boss, but. I don't think I'm server muted. I was. It... Yeah, Rohit, you get Pedro, some other... you're muted. Hang on. Oh, that's right. I muted him because he kept on whacking his mic. Say, say some words, Pedro. I'm saying words, yeah. saying things mm. that people may hear. I, I cut hear? you down when Her. I slammed all the faders oh. down. Unlike the, uh, let's okay. not deafen <laughs> anyone in the audience. <laughs> and Rohit but sounded great yesterday. Being deaf from Pedro's voice? Whoa. Well, that would just Hi, be Rohit. a normal Tuesday. There you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all of them put together. Uh, that was an interesting stream. Together, so I need Left for Dead 2. Who's already in the game? Pedro and Scott. Oh, naturally, yep. Scott. Never mind. Scott's probably <laughs> been in the game since like 8 30. Like, Come on! Get this bullshit over with. <laughs> I've played for 47 hours, would I recommend it? See. <laughs> This is the contrary mm -hmm. than me. All of my being wants to know. Just to be like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the, it's the whole thing. Uh, it's like saying like and subscribe on YouTube. This is the problem, um, though. It's instantaneous. It's you... a non-conscious thought. It's a reflex reaction. Like, <laughs> no. Why? But you, but you like, like the game, subscribe. but you asked. And a lot of people will go, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose they're asking if I like this game. It's like, yeah, no, it's a nice game. There, done. That's the review. <laughs> Quantity over quality. That seems to be Valve's motto anyway, so. What are you doing, Left 4 Dead? How come you're not starting? Funny ones when some apps are like, do you like this app? If you click uh, no, it's like, oh, okay, thanks for letting us know. If you click yes, run a review. <laughs> no bad reviews. Dude, that is like legit the one thing that will make me give you a negative review if you give me a pop-up screen in your app more than once. First time, you get a pass. You get a pass. But the second time that pops up, especially if I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, no, if people are giving you money, you don't get to bug them, period. <laughs> yeah. Maybe bury an options like give feedback in the options menu, but if you put a fucking pop up, <laughs> no. This thing is being a bot. Hmm. I might have to. Okay, Claudia is on. Okay, fair warning. Uh, it might be some clicks and pops. I'm going to swap over since we're in the after show. Okay. So I can get okay. things up and running. Okay. You've been okay. warned. I can handle Stop a happening. few clicks and pops. <laughs> 